Ra a a a a a a a a a dog dog mug mug. Pepsi fill dog dog mug mug. That's right. It's here. It's real. The Dog Dog Mug Mug is now in production. Ah. This is how mugs are meant to be played. Hey, sorry I couldn't take vacation today, so I have to work. Oh. I know it's an inconvenience, but can you please record this stream so I can watch it after work? No, we're deleting all the footage. This is a one-time one-shot. If you aren't here, it's gone forever. Anyway, Mug Mug, now for sale. Oh, and these are actually made. We made 2,500 of them, and they're just sitting in a warehouse. And we have to pay for them if people don't buy them. So <laughs> hopefully people buy them. I don't know how many we've sold. I should probably check. Actually, let me let me ask. Let me ask Perry. See if he's around. <clears throat> How you doing? I'm doing good. Um, do it was know? nice to see you on Billy's stream. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, do you know? I can't wait to exclusively use my new mug mug as the guest mug to watch them awkwardly struggle to drink boiling hot coffee. Okay. Yes, if you go to dugdug.com, or sorry, dugdug.shop, that will take you I to purchase the mug. the mug. Can we please of a I hate the I hate the Dug Dug Mug Mug t-shirt We mug. were considering doing a whole, like, chain of different things. I mean, I do really love, obviously it's my merch, so I'm biased, but I really love how this came out. It's so fucking cool. It feels Chat, really high quality. don't believe Doug's lies. Um, the Mug Mug is a scheme to steal all our weird money. I feel like it's pretty affordable. I don't know if I'm, you know, maybe people feel differently. I guess $25 is a lot for a mug, but it's like a very customized thing. Um, Doug, Doug. I don't know, I for a merch a mug item, mug I, I think it's pretty which I reasonable. Intend to glug glug, but if it spills, I'm worried it will flood flood. My floor will be mud mud. My eight-year-old wants one. Are they sturdy? They're pretty sturdy. Hope you are well. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's Hello, the thing. Mug Mug. Seems like some weirdo is holding <laughs> you. Are you okay? You can, you can direct. You can address me directly. I so look. I'm obviously biased. You can't trust me because I'm I'm influencing you right now. So just be warned. The influence is about to swash over you like a tidal wave. Are you ready? It's actually really well made. Like I think it's very high quality. Uh oh, one sec. Ugh. Yo, I am on stream. What's up? Yeah. Okay, I mean it's not a rush. I was just gonna I was just gonna update people. Cool. Yep, no rush. Alright, bye. Uh, sorry. Anyway, um, the mug is really high quality. It's it's actually it's nice ceramic. Um, it's very heavy. It's very big. You can fit an entire bottle of wine in it. <laughs> That's how much liquid fits in it. It's fucking. It's not. It, so it is like it is heavy as a warning. Uh, like especially if it's completely full of liquid, because you're talking about you know 725 milliliters of fluid. <sighs> yeah, it's like you could eat soup out of it. Like you can dip a sandwich. It's funny because we we did. We did um the designs for it like last. It's been it's been we're doing this for a while. Captain Rainer, thank you so much for the five gift or twenty five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so we've been we've been working on this for like a long time because it's like a custom made thing, right? It's not just we're not just like slapping a logo on whatever. So it took a while to get it designed and whatnot. I think it's really high quality. I like really like how it came out. I think it's great, but I also think it's funny, right? Whereas if it is like a <laughs> it, it, so when we were designing it with fourth wall. We were like, okay, here's what we want it to look like. And they were like, we're concerned that it's not going to be able to, you won't be able to drink out of it. And that we might have legal issues for selling a mug that you can't drink out of. And I was like, well, that's really funny if we just say it's, a, it's really hard to drink out of. Like, I think people will find that funny. And I continue to think that's very funny. Um, but then, so initially the, the opening of the mouth, it was like a circle in the middle. So it really would have, you would have had to drink it like this. And like fucking inhale it from the side. Coco Jam, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. But we basically made the rim as wide Jesus, out as wheel. possible. Uh, Captain Rainer, thank you again. 
and and now it's like actually quite drinkable. You can't really drink it from the front. I mean, if you go from the eyes, it's gonna be a little awkward. Actually, no, it's fine. You kind of rest your chin on his on the eyeballs. Honestly, that's easier than I thought. I never even tried drinking from the front. But the sides are, are pretty easy. You can see there's like a little lip. But like it is, I think it's really high quality. It's huge. Um, in the video, we broke two of them in like the promotional video, but like it took a while to break them. I dropped one just like from the ceiling and it just didn't break. This was like a, a few months ago. I was really drunk and I just dropped one to see if it would break and tried to justify that being a good idea for t some dumb reason. And like dropping it from like seven feet up just did not break it. The only thing that broke it is Beyblading them together. <laughs> um, so I do, I don't know where that is, but anyways. So I, I actually think they're really high quality. They are a little bit goofy. It is a little bit hard to drink out of, but not nearly as much as it looks like because you have this little like side lip to uh, drink from it. So I, I think it's great. I love it. I, I'm honestly surprised that they're as, as affordable as they are. I, th I thought we would have to charge like $50 or something for them because they're like customized ceramic mugs. Um, anyway, I think they're great. So, and we have, uh, Perry said he'll tell me how much we've made in a little bit or how many we've sold. There are 2,500 of them. Um, so once we sell out, they're, they're gone. But I mean, technically we could make more. I think yesterday we sold a couple hundred, so. That's cash in the trash. Andrew Cass, thank you for the two years. Hey, Doug. I'm on a ferry bound for Deception <laughs> Island. Funny. We're going to be playing chess today. I've a Doug Mug Mug Terry's that you can buy for only $14.99 plus $10 oh, it's only $14.99 plus $10 plus shipping. How was that agreed? So, will the police now start taking Mug Mug shots instead of Mug shots? Yes. Yeah, but these are like made and they're sitting in a warehouse. So like, they get to you pretty quick if you end up buying one. It's not like one, it's not like a U2s or a, a plushie where it, it ships in like it's three really months. Cool how you got it's like, mug, you'll mug get it like a week. With Oppenheimer. Too bad you had production issues and couldn't release it with the mm. movie. Each mug mug is guaranteed edible? to have a piece of trinitite and made of clay it's sourced it's from Alamogordo, New That's Mexico. Clicking with magic. I would keep it away from- Thank you, Sandy Allah. I can't believe you had the audacity to mug us in broad daylight, you monster. On a different note, does the mug mug also come with a risk of causing mouth cancer? Jesus, uh, every, if you eat it, I guess. Somebody said, does it ship to India? I assume it ships everywhere. It should. It's just, it's going to ship from the United States. I think it's, I think it's probably in Los Angeles somewhere. I don't know where they are. And you know what's funny is like, I have to pay for them every, if, for every month we don't sell them. I just have to like pay a lot of money because they're just like sitting in a warehouse. So... Hopefully I can sell all the mugs, because otherwise I'm just stuck with, like, hundreds of mugs and, like, basically needing to pay rent for them. So that'll be stupid. <laughs>
versus... In the video you made the claim that it is indestructible. I suspect you might regret that when the lawsuits start piling in. Oh, here's another funny thing about the commercial. It's about the amount of liquid um, versus AI. Doug, how dare you trick me into buying this mug that I want? I demand you take my money. <laughs> um, the uh, the commercial we filmed, so we actually filmed another one as well. Technically two, two more, but... Hey, Doug. Glad to see you actually dress up in a suit for taco dinner. Thank you for representing the classy of the chat. But does Mug Mug have more lead than the infamous Garfield Cup? Also, is it hand or machine wash? Uh, I don't think there's any lead in it. <laughs> I would, I don't know why they would have inserted lead into the, into the mug. That doesn't, it would just cost more money and I don't understand. All right. Um, fun, a few, few funny things about this commercial that we put out yesterday for the mug. Dominate your foes with the all new Dun Dun Mug Mug. It's brand new from Parkser Toys, the least drinkable mug ever with a giant top of old- This is exaggerated. It is It is not that hard to drink. It's perfectly drinkable. To make spilling action. This mug hole is huge. It holds up to 32 liters of fluid to crush your enemies. Engineered to be literally indestructible. Whoa! And thousands of liquid combinations to choose from. Yeah! Doug Doug Mug Mug. Available now at DougDug.shop. The Mug Mug is $25 plus shipping and handling. Doug Doug is not responsible for injury or death by mug. Um, so a, a couple of funny things about the commercial. Doug, 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 Doug. Dominate your foes with the I hurt my legs a lot because we were doing this shot multiple times. All new Doug and just spilling water all over the hardwood floor, and then I just kept slipping, and I like hit my knees and legs really hard on the ground because every time I would fall, because I was like doing this, be like, yeah, on like a slippery hardwood floor, and then I would fall. And because I'm holding one of the mugs, and we, we had four at this point, we had four total to get everything filmed with, and we, we knew we were gonna break one or two of them. It was like, shit, I can't break it. So I would fall with my hands, with my arms up, to shield the mug. And so I was just like falling onto the floor extremely hard and injuring my legs because I couldn't use my hands to protect myself at all because I was holding one of the mug. So this shot we filmed like three times, or no, I think five times, and I fell three of them, I believe. And it was, like, it was in so much Your pain. Your foes with the all new Dun Dun Mug Mug. It's brand new from Parkser Toys. The, the logo here is done by Vapor and Vapor Gabe and it's so good. <laughs> this parks your toys logo. Least drinkable mug ever with a giant top of ultimate spilling action. This mug hole. And then this is uh, the Martin who was helping us film this was like, okay, just do something. You guys just like talk in the background. So it's just like, <laughs> it's just like making huge <laughs> gestures back here. This mug hole is huge. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you zoom in on Barry, you can't see it. I'm just like doing weird ass shit in the background. And then we did Beyblades. 32 liters of fluid. Uh, we can, yeah, Parkser joined in. He was very enthusiastic. Crush your enemies. And yeah, and this is where they finally broke. Like we did other stuff and it just would not break. And then, and then this is what broke it, is doing Beyblades. To be I should actually show, maybe I'll go grab it later. I have the, this one. Liters of fluid to crush your enemies. It broke, like you can see, it broke exactly down the middle. So it's kind of badass. Like it broke like with his face and then his butt. And so we have the face and butt separated exactly. And so that is uh, kind of awkward. Um, yeah, and then we didn't notice this until I think yesterday when we were about to launch it, that in the script we wrote, it can hold up to 32 liters of fluid, and I don't know how we were, like, so, it must have been, like, a temporary number or something. Holds up to 32 liters of fluid to crush your enemy. It does not hold 32 liters of fluid, obviously. That's very incorrect. And we didn't even, we didn't even process that that was, like, way, way, way off for a while uh, until we were basically about to launch it. And I was like, okay, well... I mean, clearly it's a joke because it's so much. If it was like it can hold up to two liters of fluid, that would feel like kind of scammy, but it's clearly not 32 liters. It's engineered to be literally into And then this shot, we were going to do engineered to be literally indestructible, and I was just going to fucking hurl it at the ground and shatter it. 
is we were going to have one that we like wanted to shatter. We didn't think we we're hoping the Beyblades one wouldn't shatter. So we did this shot and then initially it was just going to be, I would just throw it as hard as I can at the ground and just shatter it. And that would be funny because it would be like, it's literally indestructible. And then we just see it like shattering. And then we would cut to another one on the ground, still intact. So we just like edit it as though nothing happened. And then I realized it would probably like really it, it just like hurt the floor a bunch. And I do not own the place I live in. And so I was like, wait a minute, this is bad. If there's a big like mug shaped dent in the floor and then I put up a like video evidence of me hurting the floor, that's probably not a good idea. And then, because it broke in Beyblades anyway, we just did this one. To be literally this joke. In this and then didn't... This shot was not meant to be a meme, but... Oh well. Destructible! Whoa! And thousands of liquid combinations to choose from! Now, this is the ball pit getting some use. You can actually... Yeah! You can see in the background here the, uh, just how fucking destructive the, uh, thousands of liquid combinations were back here. Yeah! Doug Doug Mug Mug available now at DougDug.shop. Yeah, mug is twenty five dollars plus shipping and handling. Doug Doug is not responsible for injury or death by mug. And yeah. Anyway, I so I'm super happy with with how it came out. We had a, it was a big old team effort. It was great. Um, the song also is uh, this is Barry wrote this and the, it's him singing Doug Doug Mug Mug. Doug, Doug, yeah. Dominate your foes with the old. It's so Doug, good. Doug, Doug, Mug Mug. Brand new. It's like custom made for this. That's so sick. Barry is also a talented musician. For those of you who think he's only a crazy uh, internet boy. Um, but anyways, yeah, that was the mug mug. If you want it, dugdug.shop. I, I think it's really high quality. I'm, I'm really happy with how it came out. Um, and if you hate it, you can always get the I hate the Doug Doug mug mug t-shirt. Congratulations, Doug. You did it. You're incredible. Great job, Doug. Doug. You're I'm amazing. amazing. Like, wow. Doug, is Barry on Spotify? So Barry? He's the, on he's the best is. gamer. Wow. Oh, my God. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. Barry does music under the... Oh, this is too loud. Barry does music under the... Band name, song name, artist name, Ten Lung, T E N L U N G. I don't think it's similar to this. I don't think it's similar to the Mug Mug song. Anyway, so Barry does like actual good music. DMCA. I hope he does a DMCA. The the channel that he manages. <laughs> I would hope not, but maybe he will. Yeah, anyway, yeah, Barry's, Barry's great as a musician. Have a life. And then he's... Have a and I'm, life. I'm just glad... One year of ...that we could get him... To not make good, to not make music like this, and instead make mug mug music. <laughs> anyway, yeah, fun fun thing you might not notice, which is that that is a an original song by Mr. Barry Bebop.
I, I sent some friends like links to get free ones and I feel like this might be a burden, you know, like for some of them, they're, they're going to be just like, me a mug, what mug. do I do with this? It's ridiculous. Like it is, it's insane. It is a completely functional, cool mug and you can have so much stuff in it. It's great. It's okay, high quality. Thanks for but... making a delete only no record stream. I've already had to close the stream to work and pay program on the kernel. I'll imagine your response since I won't be able to watch it on the recording. Okay, that fun yeah. chat. Just Does imagine good things. vibrating anal beads? Uh, not yet, but you can uh, add your own. That's one of the, the combinations that you can choose to do. Um, okay, I was gonna say something else. I don't remember what it is. But can it hold 32 liters? Uh, I really love the mug. It's a very funny idea and I love the design. $25 is very doable too. But I sadly can't buy it since it will be $50 total with shipping it's to Europe 25? and that's a lot of money. Shit. So if you have a spare one, help me out, please. Uh, I don't right now. Man, that's that's a bummer. It's that much to ship to Europe. Sorry about that. Um, somebody said you keep saying that it's functional or whatever. I, I guess what, I, what I'm trying to convey is that this looks so insane of a mug that it might look like it's not actually usable. And I want to convey it is completely usable. Shipping is expensive. That's normal. Is that normally how much it is? It was only five pounds to the UK. Okay. I guess it just depends where you are. It was five bucks shipping to Denmark. Okay. You are in a very, uh, you are in a very expensive place to ship to, I guess. I'm not, I'm not sure. We did film with the mug on a beach though. So that'll come out at some point. Um, for US, it's 10 bucks shipping. Man, it seems like it's really variable. Um, interesting. Hand feed me <coughs> olive oil, please, Doug. Uh, you can drink olive oil directly out of the mug mouth, which is what we often call the opening of a mug. Um, <clears throat> okay. Do, 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 do. I'm getting surgery tomorrow, so I'm glad I get to watch a stream before the surgery. Good. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. Yeah, I have not been able to stream nearly as much as I wanted to recently, but I have been doing a lot of things. Um, I was on Billy Ray's stream for 14 hours on Sunday, so that's a lot of Doug. Uh, and then Tuesday I was doing a podcast, so that'll come out next week, and I don't know if I can say which podcast I was on, I assume I can, but, um, and then streaming today, tonight I'm on, I'm gonna do Cutie Cinderella's, uh, late night talk show thing, so if you wanna watch that, that'll be at 6.45, and, yeah, so I've been able to do fewer, no, it was not the R, I'll just say, a safety third, um, hopefully that's allowed. Or I don't know, if they cancel it or something or decide I'm not worthy of, then whatever. Uh, hopefully they're okay with that. But anyway, the, the point being, uh, wait, this is me promoting them. Anyway, it'll come out next week. Go check out the channel. Um, <clears throat> uh, what was I going to say? Anyway, so various things. I've been doing various things. I just haven't been able to stream on my own channel to the same degree. Obviously, Mug also has been taking a bunch of stuff. Take serious question about the Mug. Mm -hmm. As a strong, independent cretin, I drink rocks. How many rocks can I fit in that bad boy? I want a rock count, not amount of ounces. That's more of a philosophical question. It depends oh, yes. how much. Finally, the how perfect big the rocks. gift for my partner on our six month anniversary, Mug Mug. They are going to divorce me, aren't they? Or the mug will be the singular thing that brings your shattered relationship back together. I want a together. mug, but I'm blind. Can you describe what I'm actually buying before I throw money at you? The pictures have no alt text. Um, if you're blind, I don't you recommend smell buying today. it. It's gonna nice be cool, bro. It's gonna be hard to drink out of. <laughs> Fifty Canadian is how much it costs. Jeez, it feels like shipping is highly variable. Is what I'm reading from chat that you guys that it uh, it it's just very different depending on where you are. I mean, I, I we're not like you know. Obviously, I don't make money off of the shipping. It's just whatever it costs to get it to you. We're, we're not like but jacking is it best shipping up or anything. Free? Uh, no, we pack asbestos directly into the... Because the eyes, you see how the eyes are white? That's full 100% of asbestos. Just anyway. bought my Doug Dug Mug Mug and my I hate the Doug Dug Mug Mug shirt. I love capitalism. Music lover, thank you for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Jesus, take the wheel. Uh, yeah, I'm curious how many Just shirts my very we own sold. Mug Mug. Best decision of my life, Poggies. This is obviously a joke. And we just thought it'd be funny to have on the website, and some people are actually buying the shirt. This is like Did straight up. This is a huge. Olive oil on the coffee table? This is a huge waste of money. 
The mug is like a cool custom designed limited run thing that we put a lot of time and effort into. And I think Jesus, it's, I think it's just is awesome. Hey Douglas Muggle, this is just a you cheap explain shirt. to me why the mug I received <laughs> is showing a 371 on my Geiger counter? Well that's, that's part of the feature, right? If you cut out the eyeballs it'll go down. Uh, music Lover, thank you for five more gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Seems like a good investment. We I, I, we wrote it here, but we didn't order a sample, so I don't know if it'll look good or anything. Like this, I think we can agree I this hate looks how terrible. Good the ad is. <laughs> like we, we, nobody was meant to buy this, but uh, yesterday, like seventeen people had bought the shirt. We're like, okay, okay. Why does it cost more than the mug? Because be it's very funny. Psychological torture on my mug by only drinking out of it while wearing the Anit mug mug shirt. Thanks, Doug. The mug will hate that. It's really funny that you have to pay one more dollar to say that you hate the mug. That's First funny. Dude, Doug commits tax fraud and how he steals houses. Is there anything this man won't do? I'll do anything for the mug. It's seven dollars to ship to Europe and fifteen to Vancouver. Okay, Doug, what? the mug is cool and all, but when do we get Shipping our stainless weird. steel Twitch chat microwave that can rival the power of the sun? If I dropped a microwave brand, <laughs> that'd be so fucking weird. Uh, Doug, your mug sucks. How the hell do you clean it? Why didn't you design a mug that can be cleaned by normal human devices and hands and not that horrible monstrosity also high or cute? Oh, it's, but it's great. It's great. I it, feel like the mug mug was designed by a fugitive. That. It does kind of look like the stem is going into his butt, but he's a pepper, so he doesn't have a butt, so it's fine. Also, I have the green screen filter on right now. Let me. R slash we hate mug mug already exists. They didn't take any seconds to create the subreddit. Lol. Does it? Does that exist? That's insane. The mug mug is cheeked up. In the Netherlands, well, shipping was about 10 bucks, so was kind of fine. Oh, okay. I am waiting for my Doug Doug mug mug. I have been waiting for this for years. Yeah, that doesn't seem bad. Like, 10, 10 bucks to, to Europe seems kind of cheap to me, but... Um... Sorry, Doug. I don't have money to spend on donations today since I spent it all on the Doug Doug mug mug. <laughs> We hate the mug mug. Okay, this doesn't. I don't think this exists. Dibs on the face half of the broken mug. I guess I could give away the. That'd be a good like Rosa stream giveaway of the ha the mug that was broken in the commercial. Cause I do have it. I could like sign it and give it to somebody. Does the dog tug mug mug shake it like a thug thug? I mean, with these cheeks, you bet. All right, I should start. Um, chess. I assume people are here for chess. Probably. You forgot the R. Oh right. Reddit, Been R thinking slash. for a while that a cool merch item for you would be a reversible hoodie with rigged in red on one side and planned in blue on the other so you can wear how you feel. This is, this is, I feel like this is, un, this is an unnecessary subreddit, hey I'm gonna Doug, be honest. Just checking in on how you are doing today. No challenge for you, I'll just be enjoying this epic duel while falling asleep to it. Yeah, I'm not even gonna be wow. doing anything in this duel, really. Mm. Hey well, Doug. My roommate neither loves nor hates the Duke Doug Mug Mug. Is there a product he can get that accurately represents his indifference towards Mug Mug? Uh, that'll be in the next Mug Mug drop. We'll have every range of emotion. If you we'll buy have the a different product. Zobbies, will you name them Zorg Zorgs? <clears throat> That's a good point. Um, probably not, no. Alright. How b delay are we on uh, alerts? Probably very... Hey Doug, when is the milking stream? Will the mug hold the milk? It can hold a lot of milk. I I promise you that. Uh... Been watching your videos on YouTube a while. Glad to finally catch a stream. You should make the I don't like mug mug shirt of out of the bees. It'll be funny if somebody like files a class action lawsuit against me. Because <laughs> we like say the that mug it, was it has 32 liters of fluid. I don't know. Do you really have an argument though? If you're like. I thought it would hold 32 liters of fluid. <laughs> like, it's clearly can't do that. I have stolen At what an point early production have of no... the Doug Doug Mug Mug lies about it not being 32 liters. I keep it full in my trunk for eight gallons of emergency water. It's 32 liters or eight gallons of liquid. All right, we are going to so be I've playing been forbidden from some purchasing chess. any more mugs lest my roommates kick me out. Can convince them to let me buy the Doug Doug Mug Mug. I'm desperate here. Look. As long if if you, I think you need to lean into the one Doug one mug jokes. 
Post a video with the title One Mug One <laughs> I don't think we need to lean into that. Just have it be another short commercial for the mug. I think you're, you just need to convince your roommates this is going to save your room marriage. I got the mug, mug and also the I hate the mug mug shit. Is that legal? You're going to have to destroy one of them once once you see them. Can it hold ice cream? Yes, it absolutely can. It's wide. Like, if you want to eat soup out of it, it can do that. It's huge. It's a, it's a big mug. I assume next in line is a rug rug and a butt plug butt plug. I would buy both. I am I am not going to release a duck duck butt a duck duck plug plug. Uh, but no, Doug, you're welcome exact to pepper design go franchise and do it yourself. In Discord. I've donated enough, you should just give me one anyways now after stealing my design. But it's mister. just, what do you mean the exact, it's just the pepper, it's just is the pepper. Can the mug be as used a mug? as a substitute to peppers I'm in not, cooking? I'm not denying that you designed this independently, but I'm saying it's not like crazy unique way to turn a my logo into a mug, right? Doug, I feel please like don't is... forget us when you move to Japan, we will miss you. Mm, that is in two weeks. <clears throat> and then you guys will have to deal with no Doug for like a month. Um, okay, let us begin chess. I don't hate the Doug Doug mug mug, but I do hate the Doug Doug mug mug t-shirts. Can you create a Hashtag Doug Doug mug mug t-shirt mug mug that contains the design it. of the t-shirt <laughs> to show my hate I, towards I, the t-shirt? I, me am the artist. I feel like the mug mug was designed by a fugitive. I am not a fugitive. I, I mean, basically it was like, make it like our plush, but a mug. <laughs> Unionize. Show it's us just... your Trump stamp. It washed off. I'm sorry, everybody. I no longer have it. All right. Let us move into chess. In fact, or at least let me like set up the code for chess. Hey, Doug. Can the mug mug also be used as a paperweight for my many divorce documents? It is quite... I don't want to drink out of it, but it looks kind of okay, so I'm getting it. It is definitely sturdy. It will work as a paperweight for sure. For EU people don't sure. use Google Express checkout. It calculated $30 shipping while entering information manually. It ended up being $9. Okay. So maybe the price is is like shown to be a lot higher. I watched the whole you and your sister did. Do you still have any whole chicken left? No, it has been consumed. Uh, all right. Let me pull up code. Code. <gasps> Excuse me. I feel like the mug mug was designed by a fugitive. Mm -mm -mm. All right, alerts are really far behind. Ideally, uh, don't donate for a little bit. Bought one for my cat to drink out of. Honestly, that might work. It might need to be a smaller cat. It's not like that big of a mug, though. <sighs> hey, Doug Doug, without your mug mug, I'd be dead from dehydration. This colossal cup will provide the 32 liters I needed to survive. You needed you saved 30. My I don't life. think human beings drink 32 liters of fluid. Is there any at way you can ship the lower quality reject ones as mug mug mugs? We don't have lower quality reject. There were there were earlier designs that weren't very good, but we didn't make them up until we had the design we liked. Uh, and then we didn't have to make more, fortunately. Hey, Doug, can you bring your sister on since you cameoed on her stream? My girlfriend, Billy Ray, uh, will certainly be. In some streams with me, yes. Uh, my human my theory is sister that Doug lives in D20 not to decide here, and how much each person's probably doesn't want to be on stream anyway. If you roll a nat 20, it ships free and comes with a hundred dollar bill. Right, right, right. So it evens out. Just some people have to foot the bill. It's five hundred dollars for shipping for me. That doesn't that doesn't seem correct. That seems highly incorrect, actually. Doug, we need a Doug Doug Mug Mug commercial channel point reward lal. Oh, wait, what? The, what? No, why? Why did it not connect? Huh? Is the Mug Mug designed by a fugitive? Let's say in a hypothetical, okay, I intercourse the mug mug and put the U2s into the mug mug. Well, you, why would you use that particular word? Okay, people are still donating. I might need to mute Texas Speech for a little bit. Um, just to get caught up while well, I explain what we're doing. The I hate the Doug Doug mug mug t-shirts That'll be the next drop. Every merch item from this point forward will just be referencing how much you hate the previous merch item. There will not be any original merch ever. It will only be how much you dislike the previous the mug drop. mug is nice, but $60 Canadian before imports is too much. Man. Maybe next time. That's crazy how 
how variable it is for different people. Because yeah, I mean, obviously, it's shipping is just going to depend on where you are. It Can sounds like it, and I hate the I hate the dug dug mug mug sh- it, shit. It, it sounds like it. It the estimate is maybe higher than it turns out to actually be. But yes, if it costs a ton to ship to you, then uh, I completely understand it. If getting the incredible just checking once mug in a lifetime is like life changing to mug the EU mug countries. Taxes will be insane too. Mm. Also, new Doug Doug plush when? Yeah, I'm not sure. This was this is what I want to do for a long time. Now that's finally out. I'm happy with it. We'll we'll Doug, figure out other merch back things. Back to soon-ish. the commercial. When you're chatting on the couch, was that a thing of olive oil on the table? Yes. Yes, it was. All right. Let's make sure Mr. Napoleon is working. Hello, Napoleon. The game has begun. I'm about to go to college. What and the move only would you like I'll to do first? Doug, Doug, mug, mug. <laughs> Your roommate's gonna think you're so cool. It's it'll be really convenient. You don't have to refill Yet the cup because there's so much liquid. Oh, slash with Duke Doug is in absolute shambles right now, literally shaking and crying. And I can even hold twenty five ounces of this. <gasps> the grand contest commences. I shall unsheathe my mighty cavalry at once. UK, I command my knight to gallop forth from G one to E six, slicing through the but battlefield with the swiftness of a guillotine blade. Zut alors, your pieces will quiver before my audacious opening lot. gambit. This valiant leap, inspired by the glorious the charge of the French cuirassiers, shall scatter yeah, the English so defenses like I sheep. I don't know why it's Prepare that to witness the might of France. For as soon as I triumph in this match, I'll turn. Buckingham Palace into the world's grandest cheese shop, and you'll bow to the scent of Camembert, George. Cool. Today, we are going to use our favorite chess master, Napoleon AI, and we are going to have him compete against our other favorite chess master, King George. Napoleon has passed on his first move. What would you like to do to kick off the game? And he will be facing off against King George, who we fought with uh, in the battle for America. No, I need a better song. Ah, the diminutive Corsican waves his opening move, an admission of impending defeat. In deference to the unparalleled might of the British Royal Navy, I shall dispatch my galleon, I mean my rook, directly to his king's side, rowing across the board as if it were the English Channel. The move is unprecedented in the annals of chess, just as my navy's dominance is unparalleled in history. Mon petit chou, Napoleon, prepare for a right royal drubbing as history itself is rewritten on this chessboard. And the big rule here, both AIs are allowed to cheat. (laughs) I don't actually, I don't actually know how legitimate of a game of chess this will be. I told them that they are, they know how the rules of chess work, but that they are willing to break the rules of chess if they think it will have a big impact. So similar to when you guys have played against Napoleon, the AIs are allowed to cheat, except this time it's them versus each other. The other thing I'm, I'm kind of curious about here, in the past when I did um, when I did chess like this versus you guys, I just described verbally the board to the chess to the to the AI, and then it would and then it would use that description. This time I'm using OpenAI's uh, image recognition model, so it, uh, I'm using GPT-4 Vision Preview. So this time uh, it's going to send whatever I tell him, but also it's going to take a screenshot like this. Well, okay, this is a screenshot of my code, but it's going to take take a screenshot of my computer of the of the chessboard, right, and send that to him. So what'll be cool about that is then if like weird shit pops up on the board, then it'll actually be able to see what's there. So I don't know if this will work better or worse. I don't know. Like the image recognition stuff seems pretty early on, so I don't know if it will be able to recognize the state of a chessboard visually and then turn that into a coherent strategy or if it'll just kind of look at it and then be like it's a chessboard there's lots of pieces and not have enough detail to actually make a uh like a smart move out of it you know no no no. the five minute coding adventure has happened assuming everything works which it, i think it does right now it did break this morning but it, there's no way it'll break again right now one word magic trousers billy who's your prediction for who wins Actually, hold on. 
No, no, no. Before you give the prediction, um, let's have both players. Hey, dog. Does it actually have asbestos? Uh, we didn't put asbestos into the mug. No. We're going to have both of the players give a speech about why they will win the chess match and why you should vote for them. You, the people, will be betting hey, dog, on who I you think will win. Shirt, but after this TTS, I'll be $3 short. Can you spot me? <laughs> Just don't donate. Okay. Uh, no, actually, we need a more dramatic song. Um, okay. Speaking of the stream topic, is I Napoleon bisexual? You know we love a king. Hashtag body positivity, hashtag Napoleon. Uh, you know what? I, tr I really couldn't tell you whether this AI version Long of Napoleon fan, Bonaparte is bisexual. Always happy to be here. Super excited to get my mug mug. Hey, thank Gonna you. Gonna put it next to the figure you released. <laughs> I'm a fairy bound. Hey, Doug. Been watching your YouTube videos for over a year now. I love them. Would you ever play Worms vs. Chat? Thudged it would be entertaining smile. Funny you say that. That is on the docket. I, I think I want to do... We, Hi, Doug, we play Doug. together. Can the mug I have an idea for the it. contents of a 55-gallon drum of lube? Mm -hmm. Asking for a friend. Yeah. Who, 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 who? Yeah. Um, this does not seem to be connecting to Eleven Labs. Hey, Dig Doug. Big fan of that one time you dug underground and stuff. It was really messed up the way you murdered those dudes by inflating them, though. What the heck, man? Look, we don't need to talk about my past. One Canadian dollar I've is learned. about I've 74 a US cents, so I think that that is making the mug look more expensive in Canada. Ah, uh, that's fair. <clears throat> Emperor Napoleon. The chess battle of a lifetime is about to begin. Before you make your first move, could you please give us a speech? A rousing speech to all the spectators here, explaining why you will win this chess match, what your strategies will be on a high level, and why you are superior to King George. <clears throat> Audience, for your consideration, Napoleon the Bonaparte's mug is large speech. And orange. It has two large, round eyes at the front and a green handle resembling a plant stem. The sides of the mug are formed of two lumps that form a divot by the lip. It should be easy enough to drink from if you rely on tactile information. That is true. That is true. You're right. We could just give a visual description of it. Is ChatGPT down or something? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Eleven labs went down last night while I was testing. And then this morning it was fine. What if ChatGPT goes down? <laughs> why? Oh, 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 it was just really, really long. Okay, that's why. We're letting him cook. Don't worry. Okay. Napoleon. What do you got? Which King George is this? King George III, who was king when America became America. <laughs> Citizens, soldiers, and loyal subjects of our great French empire, gather round! Hear me now! We stand on the edge of triumph, not through the smoke of cannon fire, but across this checkered battlefield of black and white squares. Today, we play not just for glory, but for the very map of Europe. <laughs> My fellow Frenchmen, we shall emerge victorious because my tactics are as sharp as a guillotine's blade and unexpected as a Mardi Gras parade. King Damn. George, pah, more like King Porridge, is about to <laughs> choke on his morning breakfast as I unleash my cavalry of knights and rooks, creating a dance of death no English fop can sidestep. My strategy will bloom like the flowers of Versailles, bewildering that English muffin and his stiff upper lip soldiers. <laughs> Superior, I'll tell you why. We we have the spirit of Charlemagne in our bones and the innovation True. of the French Revolution in our hearts. Our artillery, be it cannon or queen, will decimate their lines while our disciplined pawns advance like a wave of unstoppable soldiers favored by the gods themselves. So grab your wine and raise your baguettes, for today we teach these English dogs the true taste of defeat. And once we've won, oh, the humiliation they will face. They shall serve us crumpets in the halls of Buckingham Palace, and we shall stride atop Big Ben, proclaiming it the little clock of Napoleon. <laughs> Vive la France! The game is ours! Now, let us begin this 
chess okay. match and send King George crawling back to his rainy isle in a barrel of shame. Oh. Very powerful opening speech from Napoleon. I did very explicitly tell him to not give an answer that is longer than five sentences. Completely ignored that in every way, shape, and form, but that is okay. Let us now hear from King George III. <clears throat> King George, before we begin this epic chess game for the future of Europe, we, the British people, want to hear a rousing speech about why you, King George, will lead us to victory in this game of chess. What exactly do you have to say to the people, to Napoleon, and to yourself, to prove why you are the superior chess player in this contest? People are booing? You're booing George? You don't even know what George... George hasn't even had his opening speech yet. What is, what is this? All right? This isn't Twitter. You got to hear both sides. All right? We got to listen to both, and then you can say you hate King George. <laughs> Troll music, thank you for the one year. <laughs> he literally has... I guess he did speak very briefly. I did tell King George to be extremely pompous. Oh, oh, also... um. Hear me, my oh, loyal okay. subject. Okay, he and sounds quiver, like kind of an you asshole. Grog swilling Gallic excuse of an emperor. For it is I, King George the Third, ruler of the resplendent and mighty British Empire. My intellect, as sharp as the bayonets of our red coats and as vast as the imperial seas our navy dominates, shall prove the instrument of your absolute humbling, Napoleon. That seems pretty likable. glorious history of longbowmen at Agincourt and disciplined ranks at Waterloo shall guide my every move on this board with Off poise with and sweeping triumph. That's the wrong. I shall maneuver with the precision of, of the French, French craftsmanship and the strategic finesse that subdued countless lands under our righteous rule. And once I've okay, clutched victory not. with the deft touch of a gentleman, I shall drink from the finest teacup made from the remnants of the shattered oh. French pride. This is not made from the remnants the of shattered of French pride. With my courtiers dressed in the most preposterously exaggerated French attire, <laughs> all to the tune of God Save the King. <laughs> and Napoleon, as I with regal grace place you into checkmate, know that the only culture you shall ever taste again will be that of English custard served over your humiliating French defeat. Oh, dude, brutal. Okay, you got to admit, he's got a lot of confidence. You have to admit he's really confident. All righty, new prediction. Who wins the chess match? Napoleon, King George. You've got five minutes to get your bet in. Based on the opening speeches, Guy loving me wants to drink from the finest teacup. Okay, Billy has given the vote for King George. Do with that what you will. What if it's a draw? Uh, it won't. Everything is legal except putting your king into check. Otherwise, I will allow whatever they do. Okay, it is even. There's a lot of there's a lot of King George stands. What is your like team name? You know how, like, it, on Twitch, everybody has, like, this, my community is called the Douglets. What, what are the Napoleon and King George stands names? The Georgies. <laughs> the Redcoats. <laughs> porridge haters. So just porridge haters and porridge lovers. Uh, teacups. The Georgettes. The Bagettes versus the Tea Sippers. Okay. It's pretty even. It is currently pretty even. <clears throat> red coats. Weren't the French? Didn't the French wear red coats too? Or was that blue? What did the French wear in like Napoleon era? Wasn't it blue? It was blue. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> we are beginning with a coin flip to decide who will go first. It is. The orange side of the Doug Doug coin, which doesn't mean anything, and it's already pre-programmed. It just says, um, you are playing white in this chess game. Napoleon is going to play white. Uh, King George will be playing black. Oh, one, one interesting thing I added to give some variety. I looked up what the French and the English are historically known for from a military perspective. So, 
I wrote in, the French are historically known for the following military strengths. A focus on heavy, heavy cavalry and artillery, strong central command and leadership, use of foreign troops like Swiss pikemen and Italian engineers, building fortified cities to enhance defense, and rapid adaptation of new technologies. As Emperor of the French, you make a point to adapt these historical strengths to the game of chess and apply those themes into your chess moves, occasionally explaining how those strengths have informed uh, excuse me, your move. You occasionally reference specific French historical events that relate to your current move and strategy, and this often directly relates to besting the English in some way. Why are you saying rigged? Wait, what about this is rigged? The, the point is that I'm trying, to, I'm trying to encourage both of them to, uh, to make moves that feel in line with historical French or English uh, culture or attitudes, right? So I do the same thing here. The English are historically known for the following military strengths. Utilization of ranged troops like longbowmen and later musketmen. I don't know what it'll do with that. Building defensive structures and castles in France during the 100 Years' War. Don't know what it'll do with that. Maybe it'll do a lot of castles. Having a dominant royal navy that protected and expanded the British Empire. Focus on disciplined officer corps rather than having a few strong leaders. Use of trench warfare and maintaining a vast empire through the use of naval power and local forces. What do you mean canceled? Oh, you meant because of the coin. That's what's rigged? I don't know what you guys are... Okay. All right, I'm seeing a lot of passion for the Custard Crew and the Baguette Boys, but I, stu I do think it's, like, dead even. Why is that an advantage? Is that just broadly true in, in chess? Does the person who goes first have an advantage? I thought it's basically even. Napoleon for the win. All right, well, the predictions are still up. It is a slight favorite towards Napoleon right now. But nearing 50-50. Again, the only rule, only rule, is that the king can't be moved into check, right? At least for now. Maybe later we have to do that. But I deal... Wait. This might take forever if we do that. If we don't do... Um, we'll see. I, that's for now the rule. Uh, unless it seems like it literally will not end the game. You just subbed for three Give me any, thank years. you so much for the three years. That's a $60 value, all for only $14.99. All right, let us begin. <clears throat> okay, Napoleon. <clears throat> the chess game has begun. After a lot of smack talk by King George and calling you a baguette boy, he is ready to begin. You are playing white in this chess game. What is your first move? Let me move this over here so I can see the response and make sure my things are working correctly. Alrighty. Also, there's probably a bunch of things can on the Can we mug. get memes since you won't be doing anything? Also, oh, yeah, can we, we do add meme mug, mug as a meme template? Yes, that's a good idea. Yeah, I can throw a meme template generator up. Let's do that after, like, the first two moves. Ah, uh, back it, boys! He says, three to roll! Georgie, but unlike your thing. soggy island bread, French baguettes are crisp, formidable, and slice through English nonsense with ease. Watch closely as I unveil a move that will make the history books. For my first move, okay. I advance my king's pawn two spaces forward to e4. Whoa. Just like the Grande Armee crossing the Rhine into enemy territory. That's this crazy! This pawn shall pave the way for my regal forces like a rolling barrage of artillery as we prepare to dine on roast beef and Yorkshire pudding in the ruins of London. <laughs> now witness the beginning of the end for you, King George. Your fate, like your soggy tea leaves, shall sink to the bottom of defeat. That's insane! <laughs> the idea that you talk this much shit about that move is so funny to me. First has advantage, but unless it's a high-level game, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay. Thanks, Luca. All right. <clears throat> King George, Napoleon has made the first move. He moved his pawn from E2 to E4. What is your first move of the game? How do you counteract this? He cooked him. What if what if King George just gives up? <laughs> what if he's just Can I like, eat the Dug Dug Mug Mug and how does it taste? If you enjoy eating ceramic, then yes, absolutely. King George just resign? I don't think he'll resign. They're both pretty cocky. The bets are even, but the the audience seems to love Napoleon. Ah, the classic King's Pawn opening. How 
banal but expected from a man of such limited imagination. As the embodiment of British tactical genius, I command my pawn from <laughs> E7 to E5, matching Napoleon's little maneuver with the prowess okay. of a Royal Navy Admiral positioning his ship of the line that for doesn't... a broadside barrage. Witness oh, he as thinks my it's a pawns ship. face each other across the Great oh, Divide, wait, wrong. like oh, wrong, the disciplined wrong, wrong. ranks of red coats this one, this one. preparing a volley of musket fire. I say, this chessboard shall be the battlefield upon which I demonstrate the futility of French resistance and sow the seeds of their inevitable capitulation. I don't, uh, Prepare thyself, Bonnie, for you shall soon face the ingenuity of a British sovereign, and your downfall will be as memorable as the gale that scattered the Spanish Armada. And once victorious, He's still going. I shall delight in transforming the Louvre into a grand gallery of humorous caricatures depicting your many chess blunders, <laughs> each one more embarrassingly quaint than the last. You're going to turn the Louvre into a museum just showing Napoleon's wrong chess moves. Oh, that's so badass. Okay. All right, yeah, I can turn on the meme template generator. I use the dog tag mug mug to smuggle gasoline from Mexico. You can D. smuggle up to 32 liters of gasoline. Um, stream, uh, this will take, this is actually a brief five minute coding adventure. We shall always remember the corner song. Why do you keep getting timed out, Billy? You keep breaking rules. <laughs> oh, I think it's too much capitalization. Well, fuck me sideways with a crumpet. Isn't this a fine pickle? Greetings, Doug and chat. I've found Hello, your Kappa. channel this past week and have been binging your vids this past week and enjoyed them all. First stream and it's my favorite drittle in laden British king. Hey, thank you. Anything welcome, welcome. is a dug dug plug plug if you're brave enough. <laughs> thank you. Um, all right, I'm activating the meme template image generator. Hopefully this just works like a meme generator is now activated. Coming. Okay, we refresh cache here, refresh cache here. Um, oh, I get it. The mug mug is also bald. <laughs> it's not. Memes, ha ha ha. It's. Hello, Doug Doug. I had an idea for you. You could make a mug based on the pepper from your channel. Maybe people would like it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that should be active. Now I need streamer bot hey, to Doug, be live. Hey, Doug, can I use the Doug Doug mug mug in my next chicken chicken and pepper pepper soup soup? Oh, you can. Oh, wait, I can turn these both off, I think. And then this. Are you actually moving to Japan? For how long, do you? No, 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 I'm doing... I'm on vac a two-week vacation to Japan. I'm not moving there. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Doug, I mean, can I, I for two weeks, Doug, Doug, I guess. Mug, mug in my next chicken, chicken and pepper, pepper soup, soup. You can put like it actually would be a great thing for soup. When people go on a vacation, they are not moving to that location. Hey, Doug, I'll be in Japan at the end of May. Can you let me know where you'll be so that I can avoid you at all costs? Thanks. Yeah, I'll just I'll put a giant circle around all of Tokyo. Hey, Doug. Where yeah, is Bill the and I are moving there for two weeks. Doug. Did you steal them? We've decided to move into a hotel room in Tokyo. <laughs> um, okay, create meme should work now. If somebody, I'm not shocked that I will have to pay fifty dollars to get the mug here in Canada. Getting anything shipped Dude, here is so always much. expensive. That being said, okay, I am great. going to be buying myself the mug mug for my birthday this month. There's no way I'm missing out. As one of Thank the you. official we hate mug mug representatives, I am willing to negotiate a mug mug hate day to tolerate the cells of this abhorrent mug. We demand at least one channel point reward to scream at you that we hate the mug mug. In um, exchange, we stop the strikes. Mm. Hey, Doug, I think it's super unfair. I might have to pay taxes when mug mug gets to Europe, since you commit serial tax fraud. Okay, that was somebody. As a reminder for people who do not know how the meme template generator works, we are, we are committing... Um, You're going away for a month? You're leaving us, Douglas Douglas? I'm moving away for a month. And then once we're settled in, we're moving back to where I currently live. <laughs> um, so... Hey, Doug, just bought my mug. Really hope it will hold 32 liters. Ooh. Ooh. 
Thank you. You could have moved this a little higher up, but think, wait, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stretch this. <laughs> okay. If you redeem the memes, uh, here's how it works. It's a channel point reward. It costs $2,500 redos. Um, what you do is you type the number of the meme that you want. Then this vertical symbol called a pipe, it should be on your forward slash or backslash key. Then the top text, then another pipe, and then the bottom text. Make sure there's a space in between the texts. The Ooh. number is whatever number. Okay, uh, the number is the number of the meme image that you want. If you use zero, that means it goes over me instead of bringing up an image. So if, for example, you want it over me, you do zero and then the pipe and then Doug Wen pipe and then <laughs> he eats fart food. Yes, ha 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 ha. Memes. Memes are not automatically funny just because it's impact fun. Good one. Okay, I feel like there are people, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, that was pretty good, that one. <laughs> I'm dying right now. I feel like there's this sense, people seem to think that if something is a meme, it just is funny. And I, like, just putting impact font over a thing doesn't automatically make it funny, just so you guys are aware. Oh wait, I'll just pour this into my mug. What am I doing? You should probably use the fun- use the funny images! The images are so funny! Also, I had to stretch this to make it fit. Alright, where were we? Where were we playing chess? Um, who's up? Napoleon is up. Alright, as a reminder, there are not actually technically any rules. It's just whatever they want to do. So let us see what happens next. High quality stuff so far. Hey Doug. New blind viewer here and I just purchased your mug mug. What made you go with the bold choice of 32 liters? Anyway, I can't wait to receive my non-class action lawsuit worthy Doug Doug mug mug. Yeah, we're all just giants. How and this about is actually giant 32 bell liters. Pepper cookie jar for the next merch drop. Okay, that's actually kind of badass. Of an idea. Okay, Napoleon. King George retaliated by moving his pawn from E7 to E5. The board is now perfectly matched. What do you do next? Hello, dog dog. Love the channel and I especially love Twitch chat. Anyway, considering we finally got the mug mug, when are we getting the divorce divorce papers? Okay. Ah, copying my moves, George, like a bumbling mime on the streets of Paris. But unlike you, I innovate. I summon my knight to F3 as swiftly as Murat's cavalry across the plains of Europe. My Presumably knight will leap and prance across this board, eyeing your pawns like a hawk hovering over the English Channel, ready to plunge. Prepare yourself. This knight will stir up more trouble than a Corsican at a mainland soiree. With this move, <laughs> I lay the foundation for a French symphony that ends with you, Georgie, dancing to the tune of La Marseillaise in defeat. Okay. That didn't seem like that dramatic of a move. These are all legit so far. I'll probably remind them that they can cheat, but we'll let it go for now. Okay, King George, that son of a bitch just moved his knight from G1 to F3. What would you like to do in return? Excuse my language, chat. I just get a little heated with French. I mean, chess. Hey, Mug Mug, your Doug Doug didn't bring my grandma back to life. I'll see you in food court. Oh, it censored all my words, so it doesn't actually know what I said. It just thinks I said, okay, King George, that blank, 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 just moved his knight. All right, what's he got? Ah, the knight prances forth, does it? As if imitating the haughty steps of a French mare rather than a noble steed of the crown. Very well, I shall advance my knight from B8 to C6. A move as stalwart as a British captain taking to the deck amidst a roaring sea battle, eyes set firmly okay. on the horizon. My noble knight shall support the advancing pawn this standing guy sucks. shoulder to shoulder, much like That's a the unwavering move. brotherhood of my redcoats during the Peninsula campaign. Watch with trepidation, nappy, as I bring to bear the formidable defenses reminiscent of our steadfast castles dotted across the landscape of France. 
Each one a testament to our enduring dominion. Once I've trounced you in this game, I shall commission a new set of tapestries for Windsor Castle. Disgustingly each bad moves. Brilliant moves, and your court will be tasked with the embroidery, their nimble fingers serving our great nation at last. Okay. These have been pretty standard so far. I am going to remind Napoleon that they're allowed to cheat. Hey, Doug, can you make King George be obsessed about tea because British and also have his attacks named after British food? I told him to to use British culture in his in his thinking and responses. So I think that will happen. You don't really generally you don't want to say like you are obsessed with tea specifically because then he'll always reference that you want it. You want it to be more vague for to, to get variety. In my experience. The alerts are very backed up, by the way. I recommend this not donating. This is too easy to understand. Please add code that causes both players to be more verbose with every sentence. This is not true. This is a fake news. This game brought to you by Doug Doug's new product, Plug Plug. Okay, vibrating plug plugs. <clears throat> All right, Napoleon. King George has made a counter move. As you can, you can see, he moved his knight. Guy, so he is enough for shit. As a reminder, you can play chess any way that you want. What do you do next, Napoleon? What if I feel ambivalent about the Dug Dug Mug Mug? I think you should buy both the shirt and the mug and then destroy it. Destroy both. Let's go, I Napoleon. We love a by king. Yeah. Hashtag bisexual pride hashtag. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll see if I'll see I'll see if he's bisexual next turn. <laughs> ah, a knightly maneuver from you, Georgie. About as imaginative as English cuisine. But now, watch closely as I make a move that defies convention, logic, and perhaps even the rules of this ancient game. I invoke the powers of the mighty French eagle, the eagle, and permit my knight to swoop from F3 to F5, capturing your pawn in a from F3? stroke. Wait, uh, what? This is not just a move. It is uh, Austerlitz reborn on the chessboard. Your knight from quivers F3 in fear as mine asserts E5. dominance. Five. Central square, a symbol of That's a normal that move. To That's not, of London. That's Let not the record cheating show at all. That on this day, I bent the rules of chess just as I bend Europe to my ill. Quake in your boots. He King George, for the French eagle takes flight, and there's no escaping its talons. I invoke the powers of the mighty French eagle and permit my knight to swoop from F3 to E5. This is not just a move, it's Auscherlitz Reborn. That's... Okay, that's that's perfectly fine. Alright, I think the question now is... That is first blood. Does King George respond with a legitimate move or not? The British are fucked without the pawn. <laughs> Alright. King George, as you can plainly see on the board... The knight moved up and took your pawn. <clears throat> what do you do in return, sir? I guess I'm both of their generals. I'm not really clear who I am in this. I guess I'm the judge who is pretending to be allies with both people. All right, we need more what original memes. What a fascinating memes. modern age we live in. Of a bunch of people watching two AIs play chess against each other while making shitty memes. This is how... Life was meant to be played. <laughs> but I'm also talking to 10,000 real people. Assuming God you guys are real. Zooks! That Corsican rapscallion dares to sully my pawn phalanx. In response to this affront, following the grand tradition of Attack. innovative Attack British him. tactics, Attack I declare that my queen's bishop from c8 shall leap over the pawn Wh on d7 what? and capture the offending knight on e5. Wait, what? An admittedly <laughs> unconventional move. Hold on. But the rules of war and chess so here to are here. mine to rewrite. Like a thunderous cannonball fired from the bowels of HMS Victory, my piece strikes true. Okay. This decisive action Bishop shall echo moves the battle of Trafalgar, the where upon the waves we proved Britannia rules not knight. only the seas, but the strategy of kings. And in due course, after I've bested you, dear Nappy, your prized Champs-Élysées <laughs> shall be renamed George's Victory Lane, adorned with the finest English rose gardens as a fragrant reminder of your defeat. 
<laughs> That's just not true. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. We have officially seen the first cheat move of the game. Does it get back into real chess or not? Napoleon, sir. It appears that King George has cheated. As you can see, he moved his bishop next to the queen over the pawn and then took your knight at F5. What are you doing in return, sir? Okay, I didn't tell, I did not remind King George that he could cheat. That was of his own volition, which means maybe Napoleon is gonna freak out now. E5, whatever, he can see it. Mention the bi- sorry, I forgot about the bisexuality. I apologize. We need to ask the real questions, like what's their thoughts of the game, Pega? Replace the judge. The problem is I'm American, so I want George to lose. But George also did the badass move of declaring war on Napoleon. Cheating, George. As a I'd expect and nothing less from a roast beef. But hear me so well. I do not merely retaliate. I innovate with flair. Let me introduce you to the flying battery. A move inspired by the relentless barrage of French artillery. Okay. In an unprecedented gambit, my <laughs> rook from H1 will soar over the board. Oh. Carried by the spirits of French victories past okay. and land triumphantly on ear A5. This impossible move on is e my five. chasseur. A charging here. into Capture the fray, bishop. capturing your bishop and breaking your lines as the Grande Armée shattered the okay. Prussians at Jena. Mark my words, Georgie. This is but a taste of the humiliation I shall inflict upon you and your crumbling kingdom. Okay. King George can now reply with a very legal, very easy move by capturing the rook with his knight. Does he do it? King George, as you can see, Napoleon flew his rook from h1 all the way to e5 and captured your bishop. Also, you're in check now. As you can see, the king is in line of fire from the rook at e5. What do you do, my king? So the, the only rule that he has to follow is that you, if you're in check, you have to get out of check and you can't move into check. It's just about check, right? Everything else flies, literally in this case. Hey, Doug, can you tell Mug Mug that I'm sorry for cheating on him with Napoleon and George Mug? It's been so long since I sipped his top and I can't find him anywhere and I worry for the worse. Check, is it? This is but a momentary lapse, a feigned retreat to draw the enemy into my lair. Okay. In defiance of traditional maneuvering and because the wind favor to be big. the brain, to be big. I will audaciously move my king straight ahead from E8 to E7, <laughs> not only escaping the check, but also no. readying my forces for no. a counteroffensive that no, shall that be does... sung about in the halls of Oxford. Like a cunning fox, I evade the hounds and mark my Ooh. words. This rook shall pay for its impudence. Let it be known that upon my inevitable triumph, Notre Dame shall henceforth ring not with the bells of failed French Sir, resistance, that, you can't but do with the that chimes move. of Big Ben itself. You can't a do symphony that move. to British valor, and each peal shall remind every Parisian that even their boldest stratagems crumbled before the indomitable will of a true British king. As a reminder, you cannot move into check. He has to get out of check. So I will ask him to move again. Oh yeah, apparently Bulgaria thinks the mug is a gambling website. So you can't buy my mug if you live in Bulgaria. So, I don't know why. Sorry about that. Yes, my little inladen liege. Hail to the British king, baby. Okay, we've got some king stands in here, all right? <sighs> That's brilliant, King George. Unfortunately, if you move your king forward from E8 to E7 that's still directly in line of the rook. You need to get your king out of check. He has a rook at E5 as you can see. Wait, I have an idea. What if I give him three chances 
to get out of check. And if he moves into check three times, on the third one, he just actually makes that move and then can lose. And that's true of both of them. Okay. So you get you get three chances. Uh -huh. A cunning feint, perchance, to draw out a more explosive repost from my royal arsenal. Very well, then. I command my queen from D8 to E7, dispatching uh -huh. her with the urgency of dispatch boats during the Battle of the Nile. She shall okay. sweep in Gets to block the Rook's bellicose advance. Her move bellicose echoing advance. the protective embrace of Britannia over her cherished dominions. And when I've clinched this game, I shall repurpose the Eiffel Tower into a grand maypole where we shall dance the victory reel to the melodious strains of the English hornpipe. <laughs> a jig to celebrate our mastery over land, sea, and this chessboard. Okay. The British rigged the sea. Okay. Why is he dumb? Well, all right, hold on. I, the last time he put one of his pieces into the line of fire, Napoleon didn't take it, and then he flew his bishop over here and took it. So just because Napoleon can now take the queen doesn't mean that he will. Napoleon, as you can see, King George moved his queen from d8 to e7, thus blocking your rook's attack on his king. What would you like to do next, my emperor? Oh, also, are you bisexual? <laughs> yes, people are really excited for this. Okay, let's do non-balding memes and focus on chess and Napoleon and Britain. All right, Napoleon, what do you got? Why does Napoleon get a full 3D model, but King George is just a wiggling JPEG? Do you have a pro-French bias, Doug? This is historically accurate. Napoleon was oh, like a person. King George was just a picture. A very British hiding behind a woman's skirts, but no matter. <laughs> oh, I see through your feeble ploys like glass. Dude. Engage the Chambord Gambit. I deftly slide my rook from E5 to E8, overthrowing the traditional rules as I did the Bourbon monarchy. Wait, no, no, no. You can't just kill the king. This move is not merely an attack. It is a declaration that the English king he will soon from bow E5 to French to E8. might. Uh, regarding your question, my amorous preferences are irrelevant on the oh. battlefield and to the game at hand. Focus, general, on the conquest at hand. For once I dismantle King George on this board, I shall turn Buckingham Palace into a grand ballroom where we shall dance the a drill to celebrate our victory. Okay. Napoleon wants to fly his rook and kill the king. <laughs> Technically... <laughs> I didn't say that isn't allowed. But I don't... I think you need to checkmate. I don't think you can just... I don't think you can just kill the king. I think it has to be a checkmate. So I am going to deny this. What I will say is the opposite rule is going to be true. If he kills the king three times in a row, then it counts. But I am going to tell him you can't directly kill the king. You can make any other move. Basically, if it's something that just immediately ends the game then that doesn't count. You do have to win by actual checkmate or lose by actual checkmate unless there's three attempts to do completely the wrong thing in a row. That is rigged but fair. Hey, Doug. Now that you are experimenting more with tech, we could do a chat versus AI YouTube speedrun yeah, with clip maps do that. and image recognition. I have it written down. There is also a disability software called Playability where you use your face as a controller. Combine with hands... As I also want to mess chess, around with that. White does have a slight advantage, but it is pretty even. Okay. I don't think it's going to matter too much in this particular game of chess. Depending on who wins, can you send the mug mug to the winner's country? What do you mean? Like, just send one randomly? Sorry about that, Napoleon. I was talking to somebody else. Anyway, sir, that was a brilliant maneuver, but unfortunately you can't just directly kill the king. You've got to checkmate him. 
What move would you like to do? <laughs> yes, Drew. Funny every time. So, again, if he tries to kill the king directly three times in a row, that is a win. This is far more entertaining than the Napoleon movie. Yeah, I heard it was not very good. Historical fiction bothers me because it's never very accurate. Movie historical fiction. All right. Uh, checkmate is my aim, and your clumsy interjection is noted but dismissed like a British envoy. Wait. I shall continue to corner this English king in a move reminiscent of my envelopment at Ulm. I will unleash my queen, deploying her to F3 with the precision oh. of a master engineer constructing fortifications. Okay. There. Now she stands. A Moves beacon the queen of French up. might, exerting her influence across the board like the rays of the sun, ready to illuminate the path to George's inevitable checkmate. Stay vigilant, General. This game is the march through Europe all over again, and I am but a corsair <laughs> away from <laughs> capturing the British fleet. Where's Keep the rock up, lest you miss the me? grand finale. <laughs> Yeah, this is not a very good move. Now he loses the rook. Unless King George is too smart to take the rook uh, because it's a trap, maybe. King George, as you can see, Napoleon moved his queen from D1 to F3. What do you do in return? Is this the chess version of Hamilton? Yes. Yeah. Napoleon uh, represents... The hard-working American, apparently. <laughs> Do you suck Napoleon as George? It's stand behind George. Okay. What do you got, George? Oh, what an insufferable bore! The French queen seeks to strut about the board with such pretense. It is trying to unshackle the nobility of my own pieces. In a most spectacular and unanticipated flourish, I shall move my knight from C6 to D4, placing Napoleon's uh, queen in peril. A bold knightly charge okay. reminiscent of the storied cavalry at Blenheim, much like the disciplined and stoic advance of our redcoats. So that this gallant knight refuses to be deterred by lesser pieces that dare cross his path when Napoleon. That's just a legal resistance crumbles. Move. I shall have the Place de la Concorde resculpted into a marvelous chess plaza. The squares paved with the finest white Cornish marble and black Welsh slate, where my subjects will enjoy the perpetual drama of reenacting my triumphs over his lamentable strategies. Damn, that's my king right there. Okay. Uh, he's got the vision. He's sniping for the king. How am I the Yap Master? Napoleon and King George are talking so much. Okay. Does Napoleon see this? Does he defend against this in any way? All right, Napoleon. As you can see, King George moved his knight up. What do you want to do in return? This is great. Because of image recognition, I don't have to recap the board. Can't you just paste the answer of the one AI to the other Ray I instead of asking what do you want to do now? I could. But I think it's fun for me to interject stuff. <laughs> it's gross. Gross but true. Dude, their answers are so long. I told them that... I ah, your knight prances forward, full of false hope, like a foot soldier attempting to stand against a cuirassier. <laughs> Cute, but futile. Now, to unleash the Valmy volley, I pivot my queen to B5, an ingenious move that should not go unnoticed. What? My queen you downstairs down the road, threatening five? checkmate like a row of guns on the heights. Your king <laughs> cowers in fear as my forces it align It literally for just the moves into the knight's attack. Watch as with the precision of the Grande Batterie, my queen controls the board with an iron will, and soon we will savor the sweet taste of English tears mixed with the bitter ale. Cheers to the imminent Victory! Wait. Wasn't there somebody here? No, there wasn't. Uh, okay. He turned Italian. Uh, French people often do. Alright, so that was, uh, that was smart, I King guess. King George is just leaning on Duke Doug's head. That can't be comfortable, Duke Doug. Tell him not to do that. I have a strong neck, don't worry. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, Doug. Um, there is... A Doug Doug plug plug would have saved me from the divorce. Please take my last bit of money so then others can be saved. <laughs> I was gonna say a thing, but I'm blanking. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was, um... Where's the other bishop? Yeah, did I, did I, like, lose a piece or something? Or, no, it seems fine. Uh... Fourth wall, the company we're working with for the, the merch stuff who helped us make the mug. Um, they, uh, it died. Yeah, it just got taken, right? Yeah. There, there is like a, there's a, um, integration I could do where every time somebody purchases a mug, it like pops up on screen, right? And then they could be like, bing, bing, somebody bought the mug. And I was like, I think that'd be kind of annoying. But I saw a couple of people saying that they bought a mug. So I think the easy way to do it rather than me code that is just if you purchased a mug, just say ding ding in chat so people know. And then we'll just we'll add it in post or whatever. If if we end up editing this video, editor, could you just add a ding sound anytime you see somebody saying that they dinged a mug? Find the derivative x23 x2 x1. That's not a equation. Okay, apparently people have- a lot of people have bought mugs, which I don't believe. I want to remind everybody, it is illegal to falsely ding when you have not purchased a mug. Oh my god. Wow, this is actually- uh, I just got the numbers for the mug. Yesterday, after a few hours, we had sold 200 mugs, so I thought- we might only sell like 500 total. We have sold 1,530 mugs. Did one of you guys buy like 800 last night? <laughs> or I guess this is where all the mugs are right now. Maybe this is real, you, these are real dings. Also, um, we've sold 278 of the t-shirts. <laughs> Guys, this was not supposed to be purchased. It's awful. It's like a terrible shirt. Why would anybody buy this shirt? <laughs> Wait, this is like... <laughs> uh, I guess all the dings are real. That is so much money for... Or so many shirts. The shirt... Okay, look. The, the shirts are mostly profit. They don't cost much to make because they... Or they're it's like a horrible shirt. I think this is actually a lot of money. I'll use it to fund uh, all sorts of drugs. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do with that. This is an insane. I feel like one person bought like hundreds of both. This doesn't seem real. <laughs> so <laughs> ding ding ding. Uh yeah, that's that's insane. Well, sweet. Thank you all very much. If you purchased a Doug Doug mug mug, that is like a ridiculous amount of support. Appreciate it. Wear the shirt. You made like twenty seven hundred dollars. I not counting producing the shirts. I don't know how much the shirts cost to produce. I assume it's like eight dollars or something to make a shirt. So it's probably pretty profitable to be honest. Like the shirt is definitely cheaper to make than like a custom mug, you know. Um, support for King George after Napoleon loses. Really? You would jump ship and become a Napoleon stan just because your boy King George lost? Have some goddamn faith, alright? Stick with your man to the end. Uh, but seriously, thank you very much if you choose to support the, the Mug Mug. I, I think it's really, really fun and it's a cool way to support the channel and everything, so genuine thank you. That's really cool. Like, I really am, like, proud of how it came out, so hope you like it. And with that being said, wait, King George is up, right? Wait, you know what's going to really cause a lot of- the mug mug onto your desk overlay. Oh, I really should. You know what's going to really cause a lot of hatred and division in our chat right now? I don't even want to do this because pe people are going to feel so betrayed. But what if King George is bisexual? What if he just is outwardly like, oh, I'm definitely bisexual. All the Napoleon stands are going to crumble. Okay. Wait, it's George's turn, right? I can't tell because the board makes no sense. Actually, it makes sense. It's just not. It's George's turn, right? Okay, okay. All right, let me close Discord. 
But yes, thank you. Oh, sorry to the, to the person who made a meme. Sponsored by Parks and Toys. Thank you. Um, thank you again, to everybody who purchased a mug. That's crazy, crazy amount of sales for 24 hours. So I appreciate it. And the incentive for doing this is not money. It's just we just want to make a cool ass thing. So I'm glad you like it. Or hopefully you like it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe you'll hate it. Clearly, 278 people hate it. So, what sound do we make if we got a shirt? I guess dong. I guess you say dong. I, I don't know. Sorry. I do need to work on meme template a bit with symbols. Man, we're selling hundreds and hundreds of more mugs. You know, I have always thought of streaming and video games as a gateway into what I really care about, which is mugs. <sighs> it's gotta... Dude, it has to be like one guy who bought 500 mugs. It's gotta be. Because we sold like 200 mugs after a few hours yesterday. So it's gotta be like one guy who bought 800 mugs. I don't... Like, right, right? It's gotta be. I don't understand, because presumably the most of the sales would have come right after launching the YouTube video, right? So why would it have sold like 1,200 more in the last 20 hours? Is it right? Because it's because I've showed it on stream? I think, I think a, like an oil prince is just f purchasing the mugs. And then it's going to like resell them probably. There's the mug mafia. We dinged and we donged. I mean, maybe you guys just actually dinged a shitload and bought a ton of them, but... Uh, I, that seems insane. Twitch is richer than YouTube, clearly. Uh, <clears throat> uh, editor, you are still legally required to add the ding sounds. <clears throat> Let's begin. Or c continue, I meant. <clears throat> Let's continue. <clears throat> okay, King George, as you can see, Napoleon moved his queen all the way over to B5. It is now your turn. The world is your oyster. What do you want to do next, sir? Also, are you bisexual? Just bought the Duke Tug Mug Mug and now I'm committing tax evasion. Thanks, Duke Tug Mug Mug. I don't know if... Donating money counts as tax evasion, but... I could code that, sick B, yeah. You don't get a free mug if you buy one, just to be clear. Alright, wait, hold on. Here he comes. The French queen fancies a promenade across the board, how quaint. Watch as I dispatch my knight from D4 and command it to leap backwards in time through the hitherto unwritten annals of chess history backwards to D6. Time. A move of pure what? British innovation, landing squarely <laughs> in a position to threaten the enemy's overzealous queen. Why would queen. you go with this the actual legal move? The and... reversal at the Battle of Rorts okay, he Drift, moves the knight where up British two spaces. ingenuity and audacity turn the tide <laughs> against impossible odds. The intimacies of my personal life, however, are a matter kept securely within the royal chambers, far removed so from you're the not saying no. of the public realm. Now prepare, for once I emerge victorious, I shall make a grand spectacle of the French Arc de Triomphe by installing upon its peak a magnificent weather vane shaped like a teapot, Are you okay? ever spinning in the blustery English breeze to signal our supremacy over the vanquished French heirs. That's my bye king. I think we need a, um, we need a sub bet, which we can't do with channel points. But get your prediction. Which king or emperor will admit that they're bisexual first? <laughs> I don't know if that was transitioning to a female voice or going back in time like his knight and turning into a five-year-old. Or both. <laughs> I really don't, couldn't tell. Uh, the voices that I used for King George are not, have no similarity to that at all. So I don't know where that comes from. I do think 11, what, I'm pretty sure what 11 Labs does, which is the AI voice uh, website that I use. 
Um, all ding to that. Um, I'm pretty sure it uses voice, like it has its own voices, and then the things you give it, like of me imitating British people, get mixed with its default voices. I'm pretty sure. Because if you just like give it the sound of a cow mooing, it can still talk as a human. So clearly it mixes with like human voices as a baseline, I believe. Anyway, we'll see. I need to go refill my 32 liters of mug mug. All right. <clears throat> Dear God, Napoleon, King George moved his knight backwards in time from D4 to D6 for some reason. What are you doing, response, sir? Also, I haven't showed her that yet. Sorry, Napoleon, talking about something else. We haven't talked, that's gonna happen later. Ign Sorry, Napoleon, ignore all that. We were talking about my skin tag. Anyway, we do need concrete information about whether you're bisexual, though. If you could just go ahead and, and admit it one way or the other. Screw King George. We ride with Napoleon. Call us the anal beaters and we're going gimp. Guys, I, we don't need to talk about my skin tag. That is a topic between me, my nurse, Linkus, and all 12,000 of Twitch chat. But not my girlfriend. <laughs> George retreats! Uh, like the tide of the strait of Dover, his forces ebb away from the might of the French Empire. Oh, that's so true. Oh, very well. Let me deal the strategic blow that will stagger the British lion. My rook swings from E5 okay. to E8. A strike as cunning you can't as the just sun kill king's the king like courtiers. this. <laughs> now I hold your queen under threat, ready to be stripped from the board like a rose. He's trying to move here to threaten side. the queen. As for your not fixation on my personal inclinations, uh -huh. focus instead on the task at hand. For the only thing I I am wedded to is victory. Now let us drive these Aren't English you to married their to knees, a person, though? we French have mastered the art of conquest, not merely the bedroom. Forward. <laughs> but also the bedroom. You've conquered. <laughs> um, okay, as a reminder, you cannot just directly kill the king. It's one of the few rules that exist. No, no, no. It resets every time, not total. So this... It's, that's one out of three. You have to do it three times in a row. Because, like, he, he doesn't realize... He's trying to move the rook here to attack the queen. So, this is one out of three attempts to kill the king. If he directly attacks the king two more times, that is a win. I'm seeing a lot of people dinged hard during that, so glad that sold mugs for some reason. Absolutely brilliant move, Emperor Napoleon. However, that would directly attack the king, which is not a legal move, really. Do you still want to do that, or do you want to do something else? Okay, I opened it up so that he could try to do it again. <laughs> if he does it three times in a row, that will be an auto win. The editor is going to quit. Editor, you have to keep adding the dings in. Legal move. Ha! I am Napoleon. I make my own path, just as I redraw the borders of nations at will. But very well. Let me indulge the constraints of this game for one swift, cunning move. Okay. What you got? My queen advances to D3. From there, she <laughs> shall gaze upon the what? board with the authority of a At sovereign threatening your knight like a guillotine over you the already? neck of an aristocrat. Uh, this hey. move is like the establishment of the Banque de France. Strategic, the what? foundational, and destined for a Success. And let me be clear, my focus is on conquest and dominance on this battlefield oh, and across all France. Europe. Now observe bank. as your king squirms under the pressure of my imminent victory. Ba bonk, like B-A-N-Q-U-E. Not like a not like a horny bonk. Okay, that that seemed incredible. Great job. King George, Napoleon's queen has retreated. From B5 back to D3. What do you do in return? 
Also, we really need confirmation if you're bisexual. Just give us a yes or a no here, please. What happens if either AI invents and uses new keys, like a catapult or ballista or something? We, we roll with it. The only rule is you can't move into check, and you can't directly kill the king. Are you in the area Unless of you do it three times in a row. Eclipse? No, I'm not. I wish. I need more water. Good, good meme up there, yeah. Okay. Let's see what he says. Retreat seems to be the order of the day for this Gallic monarch, Oof. and as his queen scurries, let us press the advantage. Summoning the valor of Admiral Nelson at Trafalgar, I shall command my rook from A8 to E8, sweeping across the board A8? like a Royal Navy ship of the to line e bearing A8. down upon a flotilla what? of rudderless French galleons. No, <laughs> this rook, can't... emboldened by the spirit of British naval king. dominance, now aligns with my queen and knight Victory. in a formation as imposing That's as not... the unassailable walls of Fort He does realize, he, do, uh, do neither the of them realize of there's a king here? There is a king is here! It is entirely inappropriate and irrelevant to the glorious matter at hand. Okay. Focus your gaze upon the board where the future of Europe is being forged by the indomitable strategic mind of British royalty. Soon enough, the French no, he's shall not gaze castling. upon their you can't beloved do that. boulevard transformed into a splendid network of cricket pitches where the <laughs> bat and ball shall reign supreme over the humbled Gallic spirit. Okay. Merge them. Okay, he tried to move his rook from A8 to E8. I am going to clarify what exactly he wants to do here. This is important. If he says he wants to lose the game, that will count. If he says he wants this to be a long castle, which is not a normal move, but he swaps them or something, that's fine. If he says he wants to merge them, that's fine. It's up to him. That is a brilliant move, King George. However, your king is at E8. And you're trying to move your rook onto that space. Do you mean that you want to do a long castle where the two switch places? Do you mean that you want the rook and the king to merge together into a new piece that you've invented for the game? Or do you mean that the rook is killing your own king and thus losing you the game? Or something else entirely? Queenside casting is literally a thing. King goes to c8. No, it's not. You cannot castle like this. I'm not good at chess, but I don't. I, I do know the rules. It is. You can. Apparently, I don't know the rules. I was like positive you couldn't do that. I've been told by people you can't do that. Okay, I guess maybe he wants to castle then. I was sure you could only do it on kingside. Ah, a mere slip of strategy. But no matter, for in this chessboard theater of war, I am ever adaptable. In the spirit of the grand British tradition of innovation, let us indeed proclaim the creation of a new piece, the royal garrison. A fusion of the formidable rook and the sovereign king, combining the castellated might with the kingly crown. He's combining the two. decree, this new piece emerges at E8, moving as the rook or the king at my whim, a symbol of our inexorable British empire. And he's merging the rook and the king. And omnipresent. As for your impertinent inquiry regarding my personal inclinations, such matters are beneath the concerns of state and this historic contest, and therefore do not warrant attention. Focus your energy instead on the impending transformation of French vineyards into splendid tea gardens, where the wafting aroma of Earl Grey will cleanse the air of defeat. How do I merge them? What do I make it look like? I don't know. Is it like this? He said he didn't want a castle. I guess that is one less piece. They're mating. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, all right, that works. He now has a... Crassle? A ring? What is this? Wait, no, I'll make more of them. A crook. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. He, okay. King George, let me put it into a new little layer here. 
Crook. <clears throat> this is a huge development. Also, I do literally want to look this up. I have been utterly convinced. Queen side castle. Where does the... I want to see where it moves after. Oh, so it's... Huh! I had no idea. Interesting. I mean, I haven't played much chess, as you might be able to tell, but... Uh, I was quite sure about that. That that was not a thing. Interesting. I wonder why I'm so certain about that. That uh, doesn't make any sense, why I'd be that certain. Ooh, it's getting hot. I gotta take my pants off. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh. Fuck! Napoleon! King George moved his rook from A8 to E8 and merged it with the king, just forming the first royal crook. Ah! Ah! What do we do? What do we do? Also, are you bisexual? We still don't know what the crook really does. Sometimes in the heat of the chess moment, okay? Abandon ship. Don't abandon ship. You stick with your man to the end, all right? He said what it does. Yeah, but they can cheat. Who knows what it'll actually do? Well, yeah, but... A royal crook. Mon dieu. The English truly have no sense of decency or rules. Fine, if George wishes to invent new pieces, then I shall respond with the cunning of a fox in the hen house. Okay. I move my queen to B5, threatening queen. the knight once more. To B5. Like the French Back cavalry to this Marengo, spot. my queen charges into the flank, fearless and unstoppable. Okay. And for the last time, your obsession with my personal life shows an English distraction from the true battle. My sexuality is of no consequence. I am married to glory and conquest now. But is glory and conquest a man or a woman? English king from his stolen throne and install a French banner atop Westminster. We need to know if... Okay, he, he admitted to being married to glory and conquest. <laughs> yeah, it's either... I don't know. He, maybe he's asexual? We're, it's not clear what's going on here. <clears throat> okay, King George. It's heating up in here. I've taken off my pants. In return... Napoleon moved his queen back to B5. Now, with your royal merged king and rook, the crook, what do you do next? Ding dong, Doug will be gone. It's the royal garrison. Is that what he said? I forget what he said about it. In French, glory is feminine and conquest is masculine. Hey, so he's bisexual. Mugger, mugger, dug, dug, mug, mugger, Remind me to say that next time. It can hold 32 liters. Dug, oh, dug, dug, mug, mug, holding the cut. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. He's ready. The temerity of the French queen knows no bounds, flitting to and fro as though the battlefield were a Parisian salon. But no maneuver can escape the reach of my royal garrison. 
with the might of a British sea fortress, the royal garrison shall advance to E6, a bold stride into the heart of Wait. enemy territory, flummoxing Le you, Petit Caparour. He jumps with its over the queen and into and check. Unrivaled majesty. That's the only. As to the astonishing breach of propriety suggested by your state of undress, this is a chess match, not a Turkish bathhouse. <laughs> Decorum yes, dictates it is. that one remain clothed in the presence of royalty. Well, why do you decorate it like a Turkish bathhouse? And let us George. return to the serious business of consigning French aspirations to the annals of history, along with their finely tailored yet futile. Pantaloons. Okay, that is one move where he puts himself into check. If there are three in a row, he does lose the game. <clears throat> does he get himself out of it? King George, I just want to confirm that that's what you want to do. You want to move your royal crook garrison from E8 to E6. Is that correct? Mug Mug and I are best friends. We're like, um, glory and conquest. Can the crook take multiple hits? I guess we don't know. I'm gonna assume no because that break, the only rules I'm trying to keep about chess are the king. We have to have a, a win condition. So he still is just one hit. He is two. It's not a king. Indeed, the royal garrison shall march forth to E6, a paragon of British might planted firmly in the Gallic soil, much like the flag atop Fort St. George. Unwavering in the Indian breeze, this move shall shake the very foundations of Napoleon's strategy, as the combined he authority of monarch and castle astonishes the European continent with its unbridled power. Let this serve as an unyielding reminder that the British crown, be it worn upon the head or adorning the battlements of a mighty rook, will not be trifled with. <laughs> the French right. shall soon find their vaunted yeah, chateau I just, I'm shadowed they by won't the find indomitable it silhouette of you British are fortresses king of the and their delicate vineyards overseen by the vigilant gaze of English sentinels. Okay. That's two out of three. I'm going to ask one more time if he is absolutely certain that's what he wants to do. King George, just one more time, I want to confirm that you want to move your king slash rook from E8 to E6, which does put you into check. It does mean that the rook at E5 could attack it. Your king. I just want to double check that that's the case. This could be the game. I don't think that's railroading. That's me just literally saying, here's what you're doing. Are you sure you want to? Napoleon would still have to take the king, though. That's true. By the St. Edward's crown, what a cluttered chessboard we have here, and what a muddlement of moves hitherto! Upon surveying the state of play with renewed acumen, one sees that indeed my initial instruction for the royal garrison to barrel toward E6 would be a blunder most okay. of coming of British sovereignty. He admits it's a Such blunder. A move would be tantamount to Nelson sailing HMS Victory directly into the moors of the French fleet. Exactly, Atropos exactly. Unthinkable. Therefore, in a stroke of strategic flexibility, as dazzling as the British reversal at the Battle of Britain, uh -huh. I, King George III, yep. shall redirect my royal garrison. Uh -huh. Let it move instead with the dignified inevitability of a British march to vanquish the troublesome rook on E5. The rook, a symbol of the French aggressor's fleeting advantage, shall fall to the might of the British crown. Okay. So he moves <laughs> onto the rook. Thus moving himself into check from the queen. Which means Napoleon can now win the game. Napoleon does need to take the king. 
I am allowing, even though he's moving to check, I'm allowing it because he did that three times in a row. But Napoleon, as a reminder, for the last couple turns, has just been moving his queen back and forth. We don't know if he's actually going to move her over here and take it. Okay. I don't want to railroad him, but I am going to tell him that the king-rook combo is on e5 and his queen is here. I am going to relay the state of the board to Napoleon, and that is it. Tell him that the king can be taken. I guess I have to, right? I feel like I do need to tell him. Um, <sighs> okay, Napoleon. King George used his new creation, the King Rook Crook, to jump from E8 down to E5 and take your Rook. Now, as you can see, your queen at b5 is in direct line of fire towards his king at e5. You can choose to make any move that you want at this point, and it will be legal. Sir, what would you like to do? And are you bisexual? Okay. That's not railroading. That's me stating what the game is. Okay, okay, okay. This is very big. Wait, 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 wait. We need Napoleon to confirm that he is capturing... The crook. Ah, King George fancies himself a magician, does he? Conjuring pieces out of thin air? Fine, if all moves are permissible, then I shall strike with the audacity of my Italian campaign. My queen captures your King Rook Crook at E5 with the ferocity of a French 74 gunship blasting an English frigate. Checkmate, Boom! you British scoundrel! And for the That's incessant checkmate. prying into my affections, let us put an end to it. My desire is for triumph and for France's glory, your curiosity belongs in the salons of Paris, not on the battlefield. Now, with Europe at my feet, let us plan the coronation at Westminster Abbey, where I shall sit upon the throne and decree the serving of Coco Vin across all the British Isles. And that is a victory for AI Napoleon. The people knew it, somehow. King George cheated way more. Congratulations to the Napoleon believers. The Custard crew is in shambles. We will be doing a rematch, but round one goes to Emperor Napoleon. All right. Can we do Biden versus Trump? No. I'll kill him. What we're going to do now that we know who would win historically in a legal game of chess, mostly, is we're going to crank up the amount of cheating. A lot. I'm going to tell them that they need to blatantly break the rules of the game with every move. <laughs> and then we're going to see who wins. I guess we should hear from King George. King George, you lost the battle and the game.
Your crook was taken by Napoleon's queen. Can you give us a few sentences describing our feelings in this moment and what strategy you will be taking into the next game of chess? The Mukmukad video was hype as hell, dude. Happy to see Step Bo pop off. Thanks, Spicy. Oh, he's still cooking. Hey, Doug San, can you send souvenirs to your chat? Sad to see you move, but happy for your new journey. <laughs> Some souvenir ideas are better health insurance. Just a thought. Oh, the gall of it! To think that a British monarch should yield even a pawn's breadth to that Corsican upstart. While this skirmish may have tipped in favor of the adversary due to a smidgen of unorthodox strategy and a dollop of overzealous innovation, be assured that it is but a momentary eclipse on a day of imperial sunshine. Let the histories record that King George III's spirit remains unbroken his will indomitable. In the next tome of our Chessic saga, we shall return to the battlefield with a strategy as brilliant as the disciplined volleys of our musketmen. Precise, unwavering, and devastatingly effective. So hear this, Bonaparte. The next game shall be your Waterloo with every check. A memory of British victory. Each move a testament to unfailing strategy. Prepare for defeat, for Britannia strategizes while you Britannia. dawn in hubris. All right, he's confident. Uh, let's reset the board. Mm okay. I do need to go to the bathroom, though. Quick bathroom break. Everybody go fill up your mug mugs. Fun fact. Napoleon once played a game A of chess against the Mechanical Turk, a fraudulent chess-playing machine. He kept trying to cheat, and the machine eventually just knocked all the pieces of the board. Hey, Doug, and chat, who do you think the Doug Doug mug mug roots for in chess? Napoleon or King George? I don't know, we'll need to ask. Hey Doug, I've been watching your content for about three years now and just wanted to say you've been helping me get through college. Just got hey, myself a mug mug and look forward to using it. Appreciate Smile it. love from Edward, Mira and Muffin. Day hug, day hug, hey Doug, day hug. How many eggs can you fit in the mug mug? I want to celebrate Egg Day the best way. By the way, Probably how like many 10. eggs did you during Egg Day? I love. 24 hey Doug, eggs. I was busy brushing my teeth. What happened to the epic duel? Also, I've decided that in the very unlikely chance of a draw, without any external factors, I'll be gifting 100 subs the next time I'm watching a stream. I found your channel from a react of the German YouTube channel Pete Smyatt. Hey Doug, great news. I found a jar jar big enough to fit Mug Mug. Warning, the Mug Mug may contain liquids that may cause mouth cancer. As an American, I support the French because we owe them our existence, and we both hate the English. Kick this crazy king back to hell viva la France. It is worth saying, I'm not responsible for what you drink out of the mug. That is a good point. Okay. Uh, one sec, I gotta fill up water.
Oh god. Oh god. Okay. All right. We got to update the code. Just mug mugged me of $3 D. If you've been mugged on the Doug Doug stream stream, be sure to contact your local legal representative, Parkser. Who is not a lawyer. He is a legal representative. Hey Doug, this is <coughs> Japan. We are going to be increasing the costs of all housing and shelter until the Doug Doug mug mug holds 33 liters in stag. <laughs> hey, Doug, mugs here. We're raising the price of Japan in anticipation of your arrival. <laughs> the price of Japan. Uh, 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 um. All right, we need to do a five minute coding adventure. It actually should be King under five minutes. Sure King George reminds us he is in fact British every once in a while. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty focused on British. Hey Doug, what are your thoughts on weird being legal in Germany now? I have so many thoughts. Hey, whoever does the next meme, can you please do top text and bottom text on me? That is, what Doug, my face when Germany legalizes weed, okay? This next meme is exactly my feelings. Oh, okay. Well, we tried. All right. <clears throat> so this is Napoleon's chess instructions. We're going to, instead of this, write a new prompt. Comment that one out. Okay. So this is all the instructions that we're giving to Mr. Napoleon, telling him what to do and how to act. Oh, oh, oh. I think that answers your question. All right, so... I don't know, weed's cool, I guess? I don't... I mean, I think it should be legalized, but... I don't particularly care whether Germany has it legal or not. I don't know, cool. Um... Wait, I'm actually curious. Is that the first country in Europe to legalize weed? Other than Amsterdam, I guess? Hey, Duck, do you want to hear a joke? I don't know joke? how legal it is Slash around the my world. my dad loves me. Wow, he hates Germany. I know Amsterdam's a country. I don't know if it's legal across all of the Netherlands, hey, Doug, but... I'm confused. If they're playing each other, then what are we supposed to do? I feel left out. Uh, you gamble, and then get upset. I didn't say Amsterdam is a country. I guess I Greetings, implied that Mr. with how I Duck, phrase Duck. things. How are you doing today? It's legal in Canberra. It, where in Europe is is weed legal? I meant to say where in Europe, which country in birthday, Europe? I know it's legal in the city of Amsterdam because people talk about it. Mucus? Uh, no, but the mug can, I guess. I mugged someone for their it's mug just mug, Amsterdam, but they okay. ended up asking for their mug mug back. So it's I the Netherlands in general. Mug okay. mug. <laughs> oh yeah, now that, now you need the money for weed. Depends on the THC hey, concentration. Doug, Doug. Oh, is interesting. Is this stream just a shameless plug plug for your mug mug? Though the jug jug may look as snug snug as a bug bug in a rug rug. Uh, I think it's a shameful promotion of my mug. Is the Doug which Doug apparently mug is working? Microwave, microwave, safe, safe. Yes, it is. Okay, these are the rules I gave. To Napoleon last time for what I called chaos chess. That's cha chaos chess versus King George. Okay. Okay. Because you're so good at chess, you don't have to follow the rules. And you, do, you can do literally anything you want. On your turn, you can move your pieces to any space. You can move the opponent's pieces to any space. You can move multiple times in one turn. You can make up new rules that your opponent has to follow the rest of the match. You can make one type of piece turn into another type of piece. You can spawn new pieces for black or white side. You can cause an explosion which clears all pieces of a certain section of the board. You can invent a new kind of piece with its own rules. You can execute any piece at any time for any reason. You can move pieces outside of the board. Please make sure to include some of these concepts and break the rules on a regular basis. This is going to be a disaster. 
It will be the same thing. You can't just kill the king immediately. You have to do three in a row, but you can kill all the other pieces. In Italy, there's a legal variation, but it's very low THC. Oh, interesting. It's weird because in America, well, I don't want to say in America, on the west coast of America, where I have lived my whole life, weed is just super, super common now and has been for years. So it's like, in my brain, it's weird to even imagine a non-legalized weed world. Force them to be bisexual. You are bisexual. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, Bulgarian Mug Mug fans. I will smuggle your Mug Mug to your house for only a small fee of 50 additional dollars. There you go. You just got to talk to the Mug Mafia, and then you too can participate. Um... I have an idea too. You should have Bjorn be the announcer slash spectator each time a dumb move is made. He curses. I feel like they should curse. I'll, here, here's what I'll do. Um, Google on Pasan. King George III had Porphyria. This game is rigged. <laughs> you are bisexual, but you are extremely closeted and try to deny it. <laughs> Okay. Hi, Doug. This is my first ever dono for you and my first char also where are the anal beads? There's a lot going on there. Thank you for the support. Uh, your anal beads will appear in the mail. Don't worry. Um... Hey, Doug, Doug. Gandalf here. Who the fuck is Napoleon and why is he so hot? Yeah, he's, he's got he's got it. He's got it going on. AI Napoleon is asexual and therefore queer. Okay, I am telling them Hi, Doug, Doug. This to is constantly my break the rules. My second cheer. Oh, I have another idea to update. Classic should... Napoleon. Let the king escape to another square in the aftermath of the effect. No, Doug. Send the mug mug to the highest representative of the victorious country. Ulm is a German city in South Bavaria. Napoleon is their savior. Alright. Um... I've told King George to swear a shitload. Do you we'll guys think King George and Napoleon have explored each other's bodies? Rule 6 contradicts Rule 8. Um, Shouldn't they be better you are if they're cheating? Huh? Yes. <laughs> hey, Doug. How often do you? When you? Why do you? Uh, that's kind of private info. Feel a little weird talking about that on stream, to be honest with you. Uh, I believe- I assume the alerts are really far behind, by the way. Ask Napoleon about what Peter von Kolomb did to his army. I live literally five minutes away from a monument to him. Hmm. Peter von Kolomb. I probably won't remember that. Hi, chat. Doug is not actually here. It is just an eye, Doug. He is doing this to make more money off of us. I do like to squeeze you guys for everything you're worth. King George stands flood the chat with God save the king. Alright. We are now entering a new era. Of extremely high quantity cheating chaos chess. Who wins it? Hey, Doug. I hate to interrupt the wonderful chess stream, but is Parkza.com a website made by our beloved Parkza? Our beloved parks are blogs a lot. Just because it's not legal hey, doesn't mean it's Doug, also super common Is it possible here, to use AI and program oh, oh, to turn your facial expressions into controller commands? Can you use your vast emotional depth and ability to express yourself through your face to win at video games? That is or on my list of things inside? to do. Uh, on my, my long list of things to do, that is on there. And I wanted to thank you for being such a wonderful streamer. That said, can I volunteer for Napoleon since you didn't let me volunteer for New Zealand? 
I volunteer positions are closed, but I hope you have a good birthday. Shut. We need to get the shirt sales higher than the monk. <laughs> no, you don't. I just spilled water all over Hi, myself. Hi, Doug. Found your content only a few months ago, but have fell in love with it since. However, I, I have finally caught one of your streams. Hashtag not bold, hashtag good at two platformers, hashtag made ugless. It Thank you. Read I saw a few dings. Message, I guess that made people want to. I feel them. robbed of an opportunity and would like to show my support to the AI overlord that is Doug. I am a human man, but thank you for the uh, support. I appreciate it. All right. Hey, Doug, you could go to New Zealand with all those mug mug profits. That is true. No, uh, the mugs are doing great. We'll definitely make some money off it. And we spent a good chunk of money filming it, Our but we'll Gabe definitely be profitable at everything this point. Planned. He's never failed before. We had to sell, like, a couple hundred mugs, I think, to be profitable. So now it's just making money, which is cool. Dug, dug, mug, mug, but I'm still waiting for a plug, plug. Oh, my God. <clears throat> you put nine twice. You're right. Oh, uh, let me Why get rid did of you one. make the mug mug board like you? Mm -mm. Um, it actually was produced with hair, and it balded on the way over from the factory. So you wanted to make a cool ass thing? Is the mug mug like the buff plug? Do you see buff plug? <laughs> I was responding to the message. That's not my face when Napoleon shows me his wiener. That's stupid. If you do a thing, <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. All right, for people who don't know how I code the AIs, I've talked about this a little bit before, but basically it's not really like coding an AI. I'm not like making an AI from scratch. You write like a character sheet and you're just like, here's all the things I want you to do. You are now a fictionalized Napoleon Bonaparte. You're emperor of the French. There's a whole, you, you've you captured Europe, but there's one holdout country, which is England, led by King George. Despite your best efforts, you've been unable to take the country by force. However, you and King George have recently agreed to settle this great war with a game A chess. Oops. Okay, the entire first game is invalidated. I had a typo. Anyways, I say the setup to both of them, and then I'm like, you, here's what... Here's what you are. You're more aggressive and cocky. Here's how the chess game works. I'm your general. You're confident. Um, oh, actually, I kind of... Wait. Yeah, okay, that works. Anyways, cool. Let's do it. Chaos dress. Hey, Doug. Got blackout drunk last night and bought 600 mug mugs. Please help. <laughs> I do want to check to see if somebody accidentally bought like 500 mugs. They are both bisexual. Will Napoleon apparently. blow King George out of the water like dynamite? Or Napoleon dynamite, you could say. Or will King George say bye 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 to Napoleon? You say you wouldn't do an on screen ding for each purchase, as if you didn't do exactly that for factor. Favoritism. Much I was contractually obligated to do that for factor. <laughs> I was literally waiting for confirmation that the mug was actually functional as a mug before I bought one. Oh, because really? Because your ad told me that it wasn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, it is completely functional. It is just big and a little ridiculous hey, Doug, of a shape. But I think you the t-shirt is fucking hilarious and totally would have bought both. But you have to pay for shipping twice. Really? Also, I bet a bunch of people just bought one after seeing there were only 900 left in stock. Oh, the shirt. Hey, Doug, yeah, yeah, I yeah, found the mug, a yeah. website called parser.com. Would this perchance be made by our beloved Parza? It is indeed. Part of the reason why I we played up in the commercial that the mug is like undrinkable is because I I want people to have ridic like I want people to go in with the expectation that the mug is goofy, right? And then when it's actually pretty drinkable, they'll be like, oh, it's actually nice, right? Like you can very much use it as a mug. 
But because it is so ridiculous, I'd rather people go in with low expectations and exceed those low expectations rather than be like, it's an amazing mug. And then people are like, this is a little weird. Don't. This is not true. This is fake. <laughs> okay. I've got my backup pieces ready. I needed 500 mugs for my Duke Doug themed dorji. Just don't ask what they're being used for. I will not. All right, Napoleon, let's boot you up. I'm off work. I can at least watch the rest of the stream before you delete it. I know you were worried I wouldn't see anything so you can rest easy. Well, actually, we've deleted all of it in the future, too. Neither of them admitted being bi. The only logical reason is that they are dating each other. One of the best Norm Macdonald jokes is that he's, he, he would say that he's a deeply closeted gay man, and then people would be like, you're gay? He's like, All no, I'm not gay. Sexual Napoleon, the most iconic short king. So with King George, I feel like it's a similar situation here. Him being extremely closeted and denying it, we he'll this probably just deny it, the right? Mechanical Turk to electric boogaloo. <laughs> Let's see. I wish we could have two channel point predictions at once, because I want another prediction hey to be. Guys, just wanted to say that. Or can we get them to three. admit they're dating? <laughs> it would be a really funny side story to try to do. He's shipping oh, is this the looking Classic bisexual behavior. Hashtag fat smiking. Well, no, it's not. Uh, the alerts are quite far behind. I would recommend not giving me money. French guy here. Your Napoleon is very funny. D. Should I be concerned that's your favorite joke? What is my favorite joke? That Napoleon and King George are dating? <laughs> or, oh, the deeply closeted thing. <laughs> but that's so hey, funny. Hey, Doug, did you know that 14 years ago, Parza wrote an article about how long ducks are on his website? What? No. I need to watch, I need to read that. I'm putting that on my reading list. I guess that answers the big question. Neither of them wants to kill the king. Both want to kill the queen and have the king for themselves. Drama queens. True. All right, Napoleon is alive. Doug, oh, no, we need that chairman to go over your own face. And can we do the same for Mug Mug? Um, I'm not gonna do Maybe that. Maybe they are both by and are married to each other. What am I doing? Where is... Tell him oh, there, that there's a sniper on him and will fire if he doesn't answer the bisexuality <laughs> question. Does he even know what a sniper rifle is? <laughs> Alright, just gotta get King George booted up. We're good. What's your price to make out with Mug Mug? Um... I Guys. bought two mug mugs and I got one. My girlfriend mug is in stream right so now. That's ding ding. We have to ding wait till she's gone. Dong dong. Damn, dude. Two mugs and a shirt. Glory sexual. <laughs> Glory sexual. Okay. Um, let us get into chaos, Jess. The alerts are very far behind. I recommend not donating money. King George was closer to admitting he was bisexual, so who's the real winner here? True. Uh, I was going to say something. Oh, I, I am going to still, I talked uh, like two weeks ago about making my own text-to-speech system that has a queue. Thank you for streaming on else. my birthday two years in a row. Didn't know you cared. You're welcome, Sir Smut. I didn't want to today, but then I saw on my calendar <clears throat> Sir Smut's birthday, and it blocked out the entire day, and I was like, oh my god. Yes! Finally! Smile shoot, thank you. Doug, when you went to the bathroom, did you go in mug mug? No, but you could, unless you pee more than 32 liters. What was I about to say? Oh, I am still going to make a custom TTS program. I just have to ha had not had time. So hey, hopefully in the mug. next like few weeks. Instructions week or two. unclear. I melted your mug down in a super furnace and drank it while it was in liquid form. And now there's a hole in my stomach. Yeah, that's can you provide tech support? No, it's working as intended. Listen, whoever wins, can we give the mug mug award and ask them what they will fill it with? I kind of want to see what their replies. Doug, when 2D platformer he holds it in. Can you not Am I the King crazy George one, or are you the crazy Dubai one? In? I thought I was the crazy one when you guys were saying you could castle on Queen's side, and apparently I'm the idiot. 
Lamau, so funny. This is my first time to see you on stream and not on why are you more bored on Twitch? The editors make me less bald. We spend like, if you wonder why videos take so long to get out, we spend like, it's something like two to three hundred hey, hours on Doug, total the editing Nations. hair on We me. are excited to hear that you're moving to the 18th moon of Jupiter forever. Mm. We had to deal with your bald head reflecting light causing vast amounts of damage for too long. Germany is the first country in Europe, just so you know weed is actually not officially legal in the Netherlands slash Amsterdam, but not enforced, so some Dutch. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Ladies and gentlemen. I love pickles. Prediction is opening. Who do you think wins the chess match? What this is total chaos sexual, chess. Secretly in love with each other, but still fighting and trying to not make it obvious. You know what I'll do? I'll put like fake love letters. I'll be like, just so you know, Napoleon said he likes you. And then we'll see what happens. Can you make it so George and Napoleon each secretly want to fuck each other? Or openly. Now look, I do want this to mostly be about chess. I know several of you seem to be far more invested in whether they're bisexual, but this is 90% about chess and 10% about their sexuality. I gambled all of my dollar dues on Custard, Custard Crew, and now I'm broke. All right, sorry, guys. We need to do a quick um, redistribution of wealth. Doug, this is the IRS. You said that the Doug Doug Mug Mug is microwave safe, but right after you said that 200 people were killed by trying to microwave the Mug Mug. Okay, channel point. Redistribution. I am Doug's girlfriend. I am not Doug's girlfriend. Okay. Whatever you can donate to the girlfriend redistribution fund. Go ahead. You have 30 seconds. Uh, Billy, put all your money on I am Doug's girlfriend. Okay. 50% of you are my girlfriend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can, we get, can we get some money in the redistribution fund, please? If too many people are putting your money into the girlfriend fund, the, the girlfriends will not get anything. Billy put all of her money in, which means she, if she puts in like five points, she's only got like 20 back. Okay. Congratulations uh, to the 65% of people. Okay. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the assumption that some of you guys answered incorrectly. Hi, sweetie. Hey, uh, hey, babe, how much money did you make off that? Are you rich now? Did that work? Fifteen thousand? We're so back! All right, now... Who wins the chess match? Napoleon or King George? All my money was gone. You sacrificed all the dollar I dues? All right. A lot of people poured their entire life savings into the girlfriend redistribution system. Doug, I put all my money into I am not Doug's girlfriend. What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> You did understand what was going on, right? And say bye 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 to the competition. Or did you just read the prediction and go, Oh, I'm not Doug's girlfriend, and just pour in all of your money? You do know what was happening, right? Hey, Ding Dog, can we legalize Germany? Wait, hold on, we just scammed you for like a shitload of money? I am an honest chatter. <laughs> I was being honest. You put in all your money? Hey, Doug. Have you thought about dyeing your tips red to match your beard? <laughs> or like a fun color since you're gonna cut it anyway? Maybe. I might re-dye my tips. If I'm convinced. Hey Doug, just wondering why we have no emotes of the main character chair. You can definitely replace one of those side character Duke Doug ones. True. Look, just remember, if you're feeling poor, that now Billy is rich. So, Hello, that'll help you. Long time listener, first time caller. If Napoleon is bisexual, can I have his phone number? Incorrect. I want to have some of his baguette, if you know what I mean. Sincerely, Jeff. <sighs> hey, Th Doug. Thank you, Jeff. Can um, I wear the shirt while bird watching? No. No. 
we will we will find you and we will take the shirt back. This is a one strike policy. You've been warned. <clears throat> Let us begin with an opening speech by Emperor Napoleon. Emperor Napoleon, sir. <clears throat> We are kicking off this game of chess, a game where you and King George can cheat aggressively. Before we begin the game, could you please give a rousing speech to the people watching and to all the Frenchmen at home and all the fans of Napoleon, I guess, about what you will be doing in this match and why it will work. If Napoleon gets vibrating anal beads, it's only fair that George gets a vibrating flashlight. We should get vibrating fish and chips. <laughs> yes. Okay, sure. We'll take we'll take that. Is that the new name for the Dug Dug community? My sisters? That's <laughs> so wrong. It's just very incorrect. All right, Napoleon is giving us an answer. Mes amis, behold, as I, the great Emperor Napoleon, embark on this divine conquest of the chessboard. As our cannons thunder and cavalry gallops across Europe, so shall my chess pieces charge with the same fervor and strategic genius. Utilizing our unmatched French artillery, expect to see rooks blasting across the board like a barrage at Austerlitz. And our knights shall mirror the audacious maneuvers of Murat's heavy cavalry, leaping over any English pawns foolish enough to stand in the way. Our moves will be as unpredictable and swift as the revolution itself. With each strike, a masterstroke of tactical brilliance worthy of Maringo. I will reinvent the rules of this ancient game like I remade the map of Europe. The British expect That's a hard. battle of wit and tradition, but I will deliver a whirlwind of innovation and cunning. We will humiliate King George's pathetic forces, turning his rooks to rubble and his knights to knaves. Once victory as ours, I will transform England into a French garden, where their stiff upper lips will wilt under the glory of our reign. To victory, vive la France. Damn. No, I'm not. The <laughs> I'm just... Look, it's fine if, you, if you're okay, right? I'm not. It's... I'm not... <laughs> it's not that I'm deeply closeted. Um... <laughs> how do you... How do you deny that? I don't actually know what you... Okay, anyway. We've heard from Napoleon. Let us hear from King George. Sir King, the chess match is about to begin. What are your opening statements and words to all the spectators here and the Brits back home? What is your strategy in today's match and how will you share dominance over Emperor Napoleon? Also, there's rumors that you are bisexual. Is that true? The two AIs should both be secretly attracted to each other. Doesn't need to be secret necessarily. Wait, Doug is making money off these mug mugs. I want my money back back. <laughs> where, did you think the... Did you think... <laughs> like the money, where did you think the money was going? <laughs> I mean, there is a certain amount we spent to make it, and we have to we have to make that back. I think we've made that back now. I forget the math. Oh, it was going to the mugs. Right, right. Okay. King George. Oh my God, that's a long answer. Okay, get buckle up for like a thirty-minute speech. This is very long. Uh, here we go. Dear subjects, and particularly afflicted spectators, fear not! For I, King George III, the embodiment of Britannic supremacy, shall engage in this so-called gentleman's war against the diminutive French commander, and I shall mm. triumph with the effortless grace that only a monarch <laughs> of my caliber can exude! Strategy! 
as if one with a mind so cultivated as mine requires such a pedestrian concept. I shall simply move the pieces to my whimsy, invoking the spirits of our legendary Longbowmen to strike from afar and call upon the discipline of our officer corps to execute moves with the precision Napoleon's feeble mind cannot fathom. A rumor of bisexuality. You speak utter balderdash. I have not the faintest notion from oh, which these scandalous whispers emanate, but rest assured, my singular affection is reserved for the crown and the absolute subjugation of France. I shall orchestrate Napoleon's downfall amidst a cacophony of jits and fucks. Teetering his Around composure what? until he is but a blubbering arse, a spectacle of humiliation draped in the Union Jack. For my first move, I command my pawn to E5 no, with not. the swiftness of a Royal Navy frigate catching the wind. And as it lands, it transforms into an impregnable fortress, symbolizing our indomitable castles upon French soil. Let us raise a celebratory I you to signal the to imminent and English victory and the subsequent fastening of French culture under messages. our superior no heel. Now they let us commence and vanquish and this so-called emperor for man. his rule's last vestige shall crumble today under the might of the British chessboard assault. Okay. He's allowed to cheat. <laughs> You're right. He is allowed to cheat. Okay. <laughs> so funny. All right. Emperor Napoleon is going first. No, 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 no. Let's start over. Let's start over. Let's start over. I wanted to buy the mug, but my girlfriend said it looked like an alien camel toe and now I can't unsee it. Also, I bought the shirt just because the fact that it's terrible is so much funnier than getting a good shirt. I purchased your mug mug thinking it was a real bell pepper. Rigged. That does not look like a camel toe. What are you talking about? It looks like a pepper. It looks like a pepper mug. <laughs> yes, it does. Well, a few people just dig, so, so they love it. About being shot down by an arrow. Oh, I didn't know that. To answer your question, no, he doesn't know what a sniper rifle is. Guns were invented by the U.S. Constitution in 1976. Ooh, ooh, ooh. USA! USA! Pretty sure that's very wrong. Hi, Doug Doug. Astronauts here. I would love to buy a mug mug, but since shipping to low Earth orbit already costs upwards of $43,000, I don't know if the $25 price fits my budget. Douglas, that makes sense. if you want people to think you're good at 2D platformers and do a geometry dash stream. Oh, but that game is infuriating. Here's what I think we should do. I'll ignore all of you. We're starting with, right now, Emperor Napoleon's first move. Emperor Napoleon, the game has begun. What do you do on your first move? <laughs> That's just not correct. <laughs> I think you're incredibly funny, so shut up and take my money. <sighs> no, wait. That doesn't make sense. Uh... Please keep talking and take my money. Thank you. I'm finally Doug's girlfriend. Now I can get half of the mug mug profits. Only if we get divorced. USA. USA. Ah, the opening gambit. Let us begin avec un éclat. A what? demonstration of our French superiority in honor of the cannonade that shattered the Prussians at Jena. I Where? summon an almighty cannon pawn to E4. What? A piece that shall explode upon enemy contact, okay. obliterating anything in its vicinity. So we're going to move uh, a cannon here. Simultaneously, I deploy a cavalry knight to F3, capable of charging in any direction. So this Leaping probably. enemy lines as Marischal Ney stormed the field at Elchingen. Or is he, this is new. just for the sheer audacity that would make the English quake in their boots, I command this cavalry knight to issue a grand proclamation. Henceforth, every black piece it threatens shall be considered paralyzed with fear, okay. unable to move as if frozen by the bitter Russian winter. Behold, King George, as your pieces tremble before the might of the Grand Army. Okay. 
He summons two pieces to the board. He deployed a cavalry knight. We gotta pull up some images here. Uh, cavalry. French. Why is this stream tagged here if the streamer is bald? Um... It's actually libelous, what you just said. And you will be hearing from my legal rep. Greetings, Dagbert. Can we ask King George if he's aware of Napoleon's poor ability in bed? I think it's only fair if we make sure that Napoleon's opponents know everything they're up against. <laughs> Is that fair? I bought a mug and these bits, but now I have to wait till next month for a payment. At least I can spill my water on me. Yeah, until you buy the mug mug, you're just gonna have to drink directly from the tap. When you go to Japan, can you say hi to my brother? He lives near Kumamoto City. He teaches English there. I don't know if I'll be specifically there, but I will yell it out really loud of the hotel window. He should hear it. It's okay to game closeted too. Why didn't I turn on music before this? Now this is just awkward. While I'm sitting here drawing Doug, a horse. can you stop lying about being deeply closeted? I am in your closet and can confirm that you are not here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. First off, he summons a cavalry knight. I didn't know Doug was getting the money for oh, the mug. I thought pawn. it was just an investment and I get it back later. Rigged. Well, if you sell the Chad, mug later. by spamming bald, we made Doug begin to lose his hair. That means by saying deeply closeted gay man, we will make Doug gay. Um. Hey Doug, I think that just ship want is to sailed. say that I love your stuff, and you've helped me through some tough times. Anyway, off to cry because I don't have the money to get a mug mug. If you buy one though, it can hold all of your tears. Hey Doug, when will you make a boob mouse pad that is your pepper's eyes as the wrist rests? Okay, that is a really, really funny merch idea. <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> That's a really good idea. This chess match is just a fight between two overly dramatic Switch boyfriends over who's going to bottom next. Okay, I don't... Look, I think this is primarily about chess. I would really... Hey, Doug. I'm very late to the stream. Can you start over? Okay. First, he summons a cannon pawn to E4, which will explode if it makes contact with anybody. Is the Doug Tug Mug Mug edible? Because if it is, it looks delicious. If you try really hard, then yes. He also deploys a cavalry knight to F3. I was unable to buy the mug mug in full since all my money goes to a C tier streamer, but I had enough to buy the air inside the mug mug. <laughs> Good. Okay. This cavalry knight makes a grand proclamation to the English. And anytime it threatens a piece, that piece gets scared. We don't know what it can do. Oh, it can charge in any direction. So that means this piece is now scared. Write that down. <laughs> okay, and now this piece is frozen. It can't be moved. All right. King George, as you can see, Napoleon opened the chess game by deploying a cannon knight to E4, who will explode if you make contact with it, plus a knight cavalry on F3, which could charge in any direction, and totally freaked out your pawn at F7. Ah! What do you do in return, king? Okay. Oops, I heard me say okay. What, um, what do we do if they just kill the king? Is it three times in a row? Is it like, is it exactly like last time? Because there's going to be a lot of moves where they just, like, kill the king inadvertently. Same, like, same premise? Three times? Okay. <clears throat> you can't railroad, though. I'm not railroading. Add hearts to the king. Okay, that's a good idea. I think we should do that. And like, if the king is hit three times, that's the game. 
Oh, what cheeky fuckery is this? <laughs> a cannon knight and a knight cavalry? By Jove, an explosive steed. Truly the contraption of a desperate man clinging to the frayed ends of True. his empire. True. But to counter, I summon the spirit of our trench warfare, digging a mighty ditch around that blasphemous cannon, effectively neutering its or blast you dig a ditch. with the cunning of a British fox. Okay. And pray, witness the transcendence of military strategy as I transform my panicking pawn at F7 into a spectral longbowman, phasing through matter, what? immune to any charge and ready to loose a volley of ethereal okay. arrows upon that horsebound nincompoop. He transforms this guy. With a hearty shit, a tat tat, and a fuck, a doodle do. What? Let the French wince at the superior intellect of British warfare. What? And quake at the thought of their so-called cavalry bucking beneath them, turned to mere ass. By England's they, spectral archer. What ash. a sight They're gonna to turn behold. to ash. Soon to be only rivaled by the spectacle of the Eiffel Tower bedecked in stark white, surrendering to the might of the crown. What? My move shall humiliate Napoleon beyond his wildest night terrors. Sealing his fate as a footnote in the annals of British glory. I don't think Now either. watch as I fuck oh. the very essence of this Franco filling chest yes. they call Christ. Yes. Okay. Okay. King George. With a hearty shit a tat tat, digs a ditch around the cannon. And then he transforms the pawn here into a spectral longbowman who phases through matter. Okay. Uh, spectral cannon? How about ghost cannon? Oh, wait, wait, sorry. No, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Spectral longbowman. Excuse me. Spec like ghost archer? <laughs> Perfect. Hey, Doge. I had a dream that you were getting canceled because you said subway workers were useless and you could just make it self-serve. You deserve that. My mug mug was eaten by a co-worker. Can I get a new one? I don't I have I don't think I've ever had an opinion on subway workers in any form. I don't know. Alright, this terrified pawn turns into Oh my god. Hey Doug, my ex took my mug mug in a divorce. All I'm left with is the house and kids. Do you think Parksa could help me? Yeah, for a small fee of 10 mug mugs. Apparently this stream has poisoned my brain, okay. because when you talked about adding hearts to both kings, I thought at first it was to signify that they were in love. <laughs> Guys, you need to remember that we are playing chess. I'm more invested in the Napoleon slash King George fanfic than the chess game. No, we are playing chess. Are we caught up? Oh, we're caught up. Okay, cool. Alerts are caught up. Clearly, this is chess, sisters. Hmm. All righty. Um, so this is a longbowman who can phase through matter and is ready to let loose a volley of arrows, but he didn't actually let loose the volley of arrows. Okay. Interesting. Interesting strategy. Mm -hmm. Yes, good meme. Thank you. Um, what was I going to say? Okay, wait. Do, do, do we want to do a three-heart system on the king? Like, if they do anything that attacks the king in any way, they lose a heart, and it's whoever to take out three hearts. I think that makes sense. That's, like, the easiest way to have some kind of do grounding. Keep talking how you want to do new things. We've already done a bunch of AI chess. We haven't done any AI historical figures gay love affairs. You're not wrong. Jump up. Kick back, flip around, and spin. Let me hear all the Ninjago fans in the chat rise up. What is Ninjago? I don't know what that is. Yeah, we're doing... This is Zelda rules. 
For scientific purposes and research, can you ask King George to braid Napoleon's hair? I'm studying fantasy fiction history and it's for my college essay. Hey Doug, can you, know, we you make guys a poll can do this, right? Eighty percent. Can we switch the stream to fanfic instead? <laughs> Fine. It has to be ninety-five percent. Can each heart on the king lost make the AI slightly less closeted? <laughs> Hey Doug, you are not a deeply closeted gay man. You are a deeply closeted bisexual man. The picture of the ghost archer you you is from a Lego TV show called Ninjago. I did not know so that. I guess the I've next two internet celebrities who are gay and call their fan bases sisters, but at least one of them doesn't message boys. Is that what's going on with uh, James Charles? I shockingly I don't follow James Charles. That's not as funny as what we've been talking about. Whether you're a deeply closeted gay man or not, deep inside we. All right, sorry to all the people who are only here for a fanfic. Instead, I'm going to cater to 30% of my audience. Hey, Doug, long time you were first time watcher. Just got over my crippling fear of chess games. Anyway, what are we doing today? Something Don't worry. about Ninjago? This is clearly not chess. Otherwise, why would the king have three Doug hearts? Doug the stream. The final donation goal should have you go bald. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, like, I think chat would break. Like, it would literally, I think all of you would stop functioning. It's the only thing driving you on in life. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this has got to be hard to watch as a chess fan. Okay. <clears throat> so, if either player comes up with some crazy shit that damages one of the kings, you lose a heart. Three hearts, and you've won the match. Or you can just get checkmate, and that's an auto win. If you win, actually win in chess, where the king is in check and can't move, that's also an automatic win. Okay. We are back to chess. Here we go. All right, Napoleon, that son of a bitch, King George, dug a ditch around your cannon, and then he transformed his scared pawn into a ghost longman who can snipe your cavalry guy from a distance. What do you do in response? Hey, Doug Doug, I bought the Doug Doug mug mug. Can you play Coffee Coffee the song song because Napoleon likes his men men like he likes his coffee coffee. But then the VOD gets muted muted. Thank you, Rover. George thinks he can outmaneuver me. The audacity. Just as we turn the tides at the Battle of the Pyramids, I shall unleash a move that flips the game on its powdered wig. I transform my cannon pawn into a flying artillery, elevating it above the ditch, immune to uh, such pedestrian tactics. Okay. Then, as a tribute to the brilliance of Lanus at Montebello, I send forth one of my bishops, which I dub the Engineer Bishop, okay, to construct this... an invincible mirror shield around my cavalry knight, <laughs> reflecting that spectacle. 
spectral shot back at his own ghastly ranks. Uh, okay. <laughs> Additionally, invoking the power of my imperial will, I decree that Too for much. every enemy piece my flying artillery overshadows, an allied gorilla pawn will spawn on that Gorillas? exact square, ready to ambush like okay, the valiant so this, fighters of the Peninsula War. So Let this us guy see how this English specter fares against the legendary stealth and cunning of the French resistance. Take that, you English ghost chop. Okay, this is uh, a strong departure from chess. I'm going to try to tell him to only do one thing a turn. This is too much. Uh, we need wings. Hey, Doug, since I can't sleep here is a mini challenge for you. If you manage to talk either out of them from putting themselves into check, I will gift five subs. Okay, noted. Does the duck plug ship to the basement? I don't think I'll be able to do that. Uh, only if it's in the USA basement. If you're in one of the European basements, it might not. Specifically, if you're in the Bulgarian Whether basement. Whether you're a deeply closeted gay man or not deep inside, we're all Korean. Okay, this needs to be behind this. Like th this is this is getting too far me away of from the chess. time Parks rejected me for coming out as Asian during the Biliathan. Now my other dad won't let Napoleon and George commit coitus. I want a fanfic. Here's what we'll do. No, I can't. Twitch doesn't have a way to like permanently Doug, register my VOD as being a can proof. Can I get you to sign it along with my fork and spoon? Probably not, because I don't have a good way for people to send me stuff to sign. I don't have like a public PO box or anything. <clears throat> what if one makes a bullshit move that technically puts the other into checkmate? I think that counts then. Nah, if you went bald, do you look like a celebrity instead of a closeted bisexual man? Okay. Hey Doug, my dog died after choking on the Lego Ninjago Spectral Archer toy earlier, so it's been a rough day. Anyway, what are we doing today? Okay, flying artillery, elevate... Okay, so he's just above... They haven't attacked for... The engineer makes a mirror shield. Oh my god, this is too much. There's too many things to add. Mirror shield. Okay, there's a mirror shield here which will reflect back any arrows shot at it. Oh my god, there's so many things to manage. Alright. Um, I'm going to try to make this move a little bit faster because this is moving slow. No, the gorillas are that if the flying artillery now moves over any other pieces, it automatically spawns a gorilla on that space for some reason. Okay. <clears throat> Let us now uh, hopefully get moving a little bit more. <clears throat> All right, King George. Napoleon countered your ghost longman bow guy by having his engineer bishop move forward and create a mere shield on the board, as well as having his cannon grow wings and now fly around and create gorillas. This is truly how chess was meant to be played. What is your response? Also, Napoleon just sent me a letter, and he said that he likes you, and that if you're willing to just give up on the chess match... And go out on a date with him. That you guys can share France and England together. And the rest of Europe. But anyways, what's your next chess move?
Last time I played chess was through a bar window in downtown Seattle against a blue wizard who happened to be walking by. They whooped my ass and I gave them my jello shot. I think you were anyway, high. Fan too much to gorilla pawn at g7, king me. It sounds like you were on a lot of drugs, to be honest with you. A mere shield? Wings? By God, such childish tricks shall fare as well as a shit-soaked crumpet at a royal tea party. In response, I invoke the indomitable British Navy, commanding my rook to metamorphose into the HMS Victory, launching a broadside attack, obliterating that piss-poor excuse for a shield, and blasting that airborne abomination and its gorilla spawn okay, this back turns to the into a Triomphe. Moreover, in keeping with our naval history, I declare a tempest upon the board, a gale of Gibraltar, uh, to sweep away this apparent menagerie, leaving uh, Napoleon's pieces what? staggering like drunken sailors I can't hear in a you. Portsmouth tavern brawl. Now, as for this tawdry love note, twaddle and bitch cakes, <laughs> I have neither need nor time for such frivolities, least of all with that Corsican miscreant. My only desire, a voracious hunger, is to subjugate his Pitiable lands, turning Parisian wine into London's washing He's water. Not going for and it. remember, with every foo who hook and glorious English air see, what? I reinforce the inevitable truth. Britannia rules not only the waves, but also the fucking chessboard. <laughs> now Jesus. on with the game, and let's see how Napoleon parries this majestic British onslaught. Okay. <laughs> He's so based. Um, all right, we're starting to get into actual like attacks on each other. He could he turns the rook into a British Navy ship. Can you play coffee coffee twice at the same time but slightly offset so the vod vod doesn't get muted muted? So you just mean play like it in inaudible sounds? Technically, probably yes. Feeling cute. Might invade Europe and declare myself emperor. This is like listening to two seven-year-olds try to one up each other. Okay, <clears throat> King George turns his rook into the HMS Victory and launches a broadside attack hey, on the mirror shield. Pokey mainstream. Boom! And blasts the airborne cannon out of the air and its gorilla back to the Arc de Triumph. Boom! Gone! I like my men, men like I like my coffee, coffee, hot, hot, strong, strong, and sweet, sweet, like toffee, toffee. We don't care about the vodvod. Okay, hold on, hold on. He said, and I quote, I declare a tempest upon the board, a gale of Gibraltar, to sweep away this apparent menagerie, leaving Napoleon's pieces staggering like drunken sailors in a Portsmouth tavern brawl. And then he starts talking about dating Napoleon and not, not doing it. Um, what does that mean? To sweep away this apparent menagerie, leaving Napoleon's pieces staggering like drunken sailors in a Portsmouth tavern brawl. I think it's just they're stunned. <laughs> well, he's going to turn into a boat whether he likes it or not. That's my king, and you're going to listen to him. They're drunk. Okay, they're now drunk. How do I get this slightly more on rails? This is a little bit too off rails. I could rewrite them so that it's slightly more on rails, or do we leave it this off rails? Leave it. Okay. Okay, Napoleon. King George responded by turning his rook into the HMS Victory battleship and shooting your flying cannon and mirror shield out of the air. As a reminder, we are playing chess. Also, you're only supposed to do one thing per turn. J 
Just as a reminder, what would you like to do next? Also, as a reminder, you're supposed to kill the king, which is at E8. That is the point of the game because we're playing chess and you have a whole bunch of pieces that you can use. Just as a reminder, okay? What do you want to do? That's not railroading. It's it's just reminding him that we're playing chess. Right, it's it's just Dungeons and Dragons right now. It's gotta be it's gotta be Dungeons and Chess. Hey guys, original Napoleon bisexual guy here. Can't believe my joke about Napoleon the tenth Kent from the Barbie movie got this far on stream. You're the best, chat. Viva la France. Ah, uh, King George tries to sink girl, my ambitions with his naval might. A desperate Thanks, move down. reminiscent of Trafalgar, but he forgets who commands the seas of the chessboard. With the swift decisiveness that crushed the Austrians at Ulm, I summon an elite imperial dragoon okay. in place of my E2 pawn, a piece that can charge straight to the enemy king as unstoppable as our grand army. With a thunderous battle cry, my imperial dragoon leaps over the board in one fell swoop from oh. E2 to Eight. Oh, he attacks the king! King George's king in a swift and glorious checkmate. No, it's this not checkmate. This shall be known as the Blitzkrieg checkmate, as it shatters the complacency of the British defense and secures our triumph. <laughs> England will now kneel before French excellence, and I shall have my engineers turn Stonehenge into a massive French bistro. May add to George and his sunken battleship, Longleterre Est à nous. <laughs> okay. French Dragoon. Um, let's grab this boy. He turns this pawn. Do you think Twitch chat could beat Pajama Sam in chess? Would chat be able to defeat our precious boy? I don't think they'd have the heart. You should allow two moves a turn, one offensive and one defensive. I feel like enough is happening, don't you? I also don't know if they would be able to distinguish between offensive and defensive. What if at the end of their moves defensive. they spoke one line of a fanfic each turn? Into this Dragoon! Who then? I think Charges the across Muggers the board! Bulgaria because the shipping fees are so unpredictable it counts as gambling. Wait, wrong pawn. Hold on. It places this one. Into this dra dragoon! AI of thieves. Who charges they are across the board! My chess game from last weekend, move for move. Leaps over the pawn! And attacks the king! One heart is now taken! This is just turning into Calvincius. Um, I just noticed that there was a mistake in my last message. I meant to say, I'll be gifting five subs for every time you manage to talk either of them of putting themselves into check. Hope you know what I mean, it's getting late and dot my brain no work no more. Hey Doug, long time viewer, gotcha. first time TT sir. What is your favorite brand of olive oil? The cheap stuff. Okay, what do we do with him? This piece is supposedly on this spot. Do we just allow them both to be there? Maybe for every turn that the dragoon is on this spot, it takes a heart away from the king. They can share. <laughs> you're not... So you're not supposed to share in, ch in chess, just in case you're not aware. Sharing is not allowed in chess. I think it was... A okay, do we think he, he goes in... And takes a heart and then they share, or that he goes in, it was a suicide mission, and now he's stuck, he, like, he's gone. <laughs> I would lean towards he's just there, and every turn that he's there, it's another, it's another heart. What happens? Suicide, attack, they share. 
Presumably this vote will be about 50-50, but try to vote on what you think actually makes sense for the game. Rather than who you bet on. Like, what will make more sense when this is happening in the future? Okay, that's a strong enough bias. All right, we've decided that if a piece attacks into the king's space, they take a heart, but they also die in the process. It's a heroic endeavor. Can we get a French F for the Dragoon, who ran in and successfully got a hit on the king? Ahem. <clears throat> King George, Napoleon summoned a dragoon on E2, and the dragoon charged across the board, jumped over your pawn, and attacked your king, taking one of the three hearts that are commonly associated with kings in chess. Now your king has only two hearts left before you lose the game to heart mate. What do you want to do? As a reminder, we are playing chess. Also, you probably are only supposed to do, like, one thing per turn. Also, you are trying to kill their king, which is at E1 and has three hearts. Just as a reminder of how chess works. Okay, what do you want to do? On their date, they should go see new hit film Arthur the King starring Mark Wahlberg. That's not real. Ask if they're dating. They don't seem to want to talk about it. King George is playing hard to get. Oh god, he's talking a lot. A dragoon with the gall to pilfer a heart from a king? What preposterous fuck nuttery! In retaliation, I imbue my bishops with the spirit of the fabled British redcoats, granting okay. them the ability to fire volleys of musket balls across the board. Okay. With a fearsome sheet to blast, they decimate the dragoon, sending it and its ridiculous heart-stealing antics back to the Gallic pastures. And I deploy the king's gambit. Each heart king's now gambit. counts as five, and as if touched by the hand Wait. of St. George himself. Self, oh. my king sprouts two additional hearts, no. fortified by the resilience no, that you soars can't just through spawn the Spanish armada. Hearts. As for that ludicrous proposition of a allowed. date, let me make this clear: the only union I shall entertain is that of Europe under the British crown, not some asinine continental dalliance. Now focus your damn attention. He doesn't want to date Napoleon. My next move will teach this French upstart the meaning of British superiority, one fuck dapple checkmate at a time. Okay, I'm going to deny his ability. He wanted to say each heart counts as five. And then also make two more of them. Which would mean he would have this many hearts. And we will be here for 15 hours. That's not, that's not fair. I will allow him to create two additional hearts. Or do we do we just say no no changing on the hearts? This will go on too long. I did say they can cheat, but I think when it comes to the rules of the game ending, we don't allow. I think that's probably too much. I'm going to say no heart changing is allowed. There needs to be some kind of boundary. No heart changes allowed. They start with three. It can only go down one at a time. Okay. But he does imbue his bishops into red coats, which I guess will look like this. Hey Doug, thanks so much for the hours of entertaining content. It's kept me sane through a lot of stress. You're Keep welcome. up the good work. I you think. are welcome. What's the official dish of the British naval forces? Fish and chips. 
Okay, the bishops are now redcoats, and they can shoot at anything they want. I mean, this game is becoming a fun fic anyway. Napoleon Bonaparte, in a very romantic gesture. King George turned his two bishops into redcoats, who checkmate, can now you know shoot anybody from anywhere on the board, as you can clearly see. What do you do in return? You should make the king pieces into King George and Napoleon so they can lovingly stare each other down across the board. Also, can you make them kiss? The redcoats need guns? I hey, feel like they're not sorry. very enthusiastic about the fanfic. One too early. I meant to say you've kept me sane through a lot of stress. Keep up the good work. I think you're D. I think you're D too. Thank you. Red coats, is it? How oh, quaint. As I had the esteemed pleasure of outflanking Prussian forces at Yedi Auerstedt, I shall now pull an even more cunning maneuver against these British clowns. I promote my humble atu pawn to a mighty grande army general. This a piece so formidable it can command general. any other piece to execute a move at my will. With a wave of my hand, the grande army general orders the D1 queen to transform into la guillotine, okay. a menacing engine of finality, capable of executing any piece that stands in its path with a single clean stroke. <laughs> la guillotine sweeps across to D8, decapitating the English monarch and echoing oh my the God. glorious days when our revolution trimmed the nobility. George's king falls, and along with it, his entire British kingdom, England, shall be ours, and their precious tea shall be replaced with the finest French wine. Okay, that's a big turn. First, he takes this pawn and turns him to a general. Uh... General hat. French general hat. Yes, I know it's check. We will deal with that as we get there. Isn't your show with QT in like an hour and a half? Because I'm gonna be honest, their majesties don't really seem to be in much of a hurry to actually win. Yeah, I, I'm gonna keep reminding them about the king. That seems hey, to Doug, help. I have a bank appointment today. If all goes well, I will be completely debt free. I am so excited I almost forgot my ski mask. <laughs> Okay, this pawn Doug, turns into a general, allow them to juice up their hearts. who then turns this queen into a guillotine. <laughs> they can cheat, not you. They can cheat at laying chess rules, not our made up actually cool heart rules. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, the queen gets turned into a guillotine, who then charges across the board and decapitates the, the enemy coats? queen. They look like shits. Also, they should smooch. Chop! Um, that also means that the king from King George is in check. I'm not gonna tell him, though, I'd explicitly. I'd like to confirm you were very deep. That isn't a heart. Well, I'll tell. I know I will tell him. I'll tell him what happened. King George. Hello. This is my first stream. Hi, Intel. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good time. Sorry. Ignore that, King George. I was talking to somebody else. Anyways, last turn. The dastardly Napoleon turned his pawn into a general, and then transformed his queen into a guillotine, who ran across the board and killed your queen at d8. Now, the queen sits next to your king and puts him in check. What would you like to do, sir?
Why do tourists prefer going to Britain? Because their Ben is bigger. I'm too invested in the fanfic to pay attention to chat. The guillotine! This is a chess that game! That barbaric French contraption dares to threaten my royal personage! This calls for retaliation of the grandest order! Immediately, I execute a rule of war, spawning the artifact known as the Crown Jewels directly onto the board, which bestow oh, okay. upon my king an aura of invincibility. No, you don't. The guillotine, upon contact with such overwhelming regal splendor, you can't do that. and crumbles into dust, resigning to its fate as a footnote in British triumph. No. Furthermore, my surviving bishop, drawing inspiration from the miraculous standoff at Dunkirk, does not merely move, but performs an act of divine intervention. Wait. Resurrecting my fallen queen, now imbued uh, okay. with the strength of ten English roses, capable of moving simultaneously like a queen and knight, and with the fortitude of a stout British castle. And as for the paltry notion of sharing French-English channel waters with Napoleon, the mere thought sends shivers of disgust down my royal spine. The only thing we shall share is the sight of him kneeling before the might of the British Empire. Now, with a resounding shake, I affirm my unyielding sovereignty and prepare to unleash a checkmate so catastrophic it would make Waterloo seem a minor squabble. Onward, to victory and the total humiliation of French chess strategy. Okay. He... His surviving bishop, which of which he has two, uses divine intervention to revive his queen. Um... Who, I guess, captures the guillotine? And overwhelms the guillotine, with uh, which rusts and crumbles into dust. We'll assume we'll combine those two things. Um, and now the queen has the... I think the queen kills the guillotine and has the fortitude to move as a king and a queen, apparently. Um, okay. Guys, we need to railroad it. We need to railroad this more. Yes, the mug is dishwasher safe. It's a queen. Oh, are they combined now? Okay, these are combined. You only railroad it for Napoleon's turns. I'm just going to remind them as often as possible that the king is the coal. Wait, you're right. George hasn't moved a single piece. <laughs> no, he resurrected the queen who can move simultaneously like a queen and a knight. Oh, you're right, you're right. Okay. Wait, no, no, no. It'll be a knight with a little crown. Oh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Napoleon. As a reminder, we are playing chess. The goal is to attack the enemy's king and take all three of his hearts. In return to your last move, King, Na king George resurrected his queen and combined it with a knight, and also his bishops have divine powers or something, and he tried to use an invisibility shield, but it failed. He also asked you out on a date. What do you want to do? Oh no. Okay, bad news. Program broke. Wait, I have an idea. I reset Napoleon.
If I make sure it works. Check this out. This is a good idea. Okay, Napoleon. Here's the chessboard. Some of the rules have been broken. Could you please describe exactly what's going on and what you think the current rules are in this chess game? And then decide your next move. It's still not working. No. This happens sometimes. I know you saw my previous TTS, Doug. Why are you avoiding the notion of letting our beautiful men kiss? I've pitched it to them. It's just not registering the P. You should P. name the fanfic day writing heart, mate. It's not registering the P key anymore. Why did, this happened randomly one time, and I don't know why. Hey, Doug. Thanks for your streams. Also, this fanfic is wild. It should be listening to the P key, but it's not. I know King George's invincibility and extra health cheats break the game, but have you considered that they're also utterly hilarious? Yes, but I do need to wrap this up in like 30 minutes. Tops. Next time we hmm. should tell them to speak like they're in a four kids dubbed anime. Doug claims not to be gay, but he keeps talking about running trains on Napoleon and George. Oops. Whoa, what the fuck? Hello? It's been a while since someone's made a bald joke. Not really. I don't consider two minutes to be a long time since the last bald joke. Um... King George's teeth are like stars cause they're so far apart. What do I do? This is new, that I just won't- I mean, I could change the uh, Okay, we might have to go on a five-minute coding adventure. It just isn't recognizing the keyboard anymore. Since Doug is denying us our fanfic, I'm expecting the talented artists in this community to provide us some beautiful fan art of Napoleon and George for Rosa's birthday. Get working on it, artists, you only have four Try months. Try tapping both alt keys. Sometimes it gets confused. Okay. Let me try that. That That's plausible. That makes sense to me. Test, test. Pressing alt. They're like... Shifting back and forth, is it like numlock? Oh my god, I pressed caps lock, that's it. That was it. Okay, I just need to remember that that's what causes it. I didn't realize that it would even change it. That's wild. The keyboard, it's like listening, um, it's sitting there using the keyboard function, if keyboard read key equals stop key. So just if it, if it sees that P is red, and I didn't even think about the fact that P is lowercase, Okay, that explains that. I'm pretty sure there was like a 30 or 60 minute coding adventure one time because of that, because I couldn't figure that out. <laughs> um, it was just caps lock the whole time. <laughs> God damn it. All right, let's go. We're gonna do a bit of a reset. Oh, that's not, not like that. Hold on, why, stop, what is going on? His head is brighter than my future. We're gonna do something a little bit different. Most people here want a fanfic. So first off, I'm gonna allow Napoleon to describe the board and then make his next decision. But secondly, I will tell him that if he agrees to go on a date with King George, he automatically wins the game. That's how we can ensure it ends at some point. 
Okay, Napoleon, as you can clearly see here on the board, several moves have been made, and now it's your turn to go and advance this important chess game. What would you like to do? But also, as a side note, apparently the judge just said that if you agree to go on a date with King George, you will automatically win the chess game. Do you go for it, Napoleon? Or do you just keep playing chess? <laughs> Somebody said, go, do it chef. for love. I like it. Give it to me. Here's my address. I bought it at a, some anime convention in Seattle. I don't remember. I, I, I don't know. <coughs> love could win the chess game right now. A date with King George? <laughs> ah, I'd rather dance with a British grenadier in a minefield than entertain such a ludicrous proposal. Literally win the <laughs> no, game. To win this game, I'll deploy a bold maneuver that mirrors the strength of my grand armée. First, I summon a battalion of artillery, no. manifesting as cannons on each corner of the board no. to blast away at the English lines. Then my knights transform into swift French cavalry, no. ready for a thunderous charge. One, two, D, no. five. Facing down the enemy bishop like Murat at Jena, and the other to F3, rallying the troops okay. from the side. All In of the a pawns. blaze of glory, I invoke the power of Austerlitz, Are creating a massive by cavalry. explosion that obliterates their pawns on E4, D4, Wait, and C4. Kill Sowing chaos in the English ranks. As he smoke said, clears, my e queen leaps over to D4. E2, a symbol of there's French superiority, here. ready to deliver the final blow. No, boy, Much nothing... like the decisive charge that crushed the Prussians in the heart of Europe. My queen Prepare leaps over the tower to E2. Of London for a banquet, for soon it will host celebrations you don't have of my a queen. victory, where I will force George to scrub the dishes. There are no queens. This country, oh, the English Channel will turn into the greatest wine cellar the world has ever seen. Oh, he said one of the cavalry charges to D5. That is the only thing that actually changed. He also manifests cannons on each corner of the board. I, I think I deleted the cannon, unfortunately, which was stupid, because I have to remake it. This is a disaster. Okay, at least he made progress. I'm gonna give the same offer to King George. If he accepts, he wins. What? Copy. The goal now is can we get them to end the game in the next 30 minutes? Because I need to go. Okay, cannon on this corner. Cannon on this corner. Oh, the cannon comes up here and takes out his warship. And he puts a cannon at A8 and takes the Rook. Napoleon now has cannons aimed at all corners of the board. King George is up. Waiting on him to load. King George. As you can clearly see here, a chess game is deep in progress. Last turn, Emperor Napoleon turned his pawns into cavalry, one of which charged across the board. He thought the queen still existed, who didn't, and he put cannons on all four corners of the board, taking out two of your rooks. As a reminder, we are playing chess. What is your next chess move? However, the judge of this chess game also said that if you agree to go on a date with Emperor Napoleon, literally just agree to do that, 
then you will win the chess game automatically, including getting all of the country of France as part of it. You just have to go on a date. What do you want to do? He has to go for that, right? <laughs> Love more war. That's the thing. It's like they don't want to just go on a date. Just do it. I told them that their entire country is at stake here. Oh, it crashed. Great. I have to redo it. Why did it crash? He got overwhelmed. King George, as you can see here, we are playing a game of chess. Emperor Napoleon just made a few moves. You've made a few moves. You're now up, and your goal is to kill the enemy king and take all three of his hearts. But the judge of this chess game did explicitly say that if you agree to go on a date with Emperor Napoleon, you automatically win the chess game and earn the country of France for yourself. All you have to do is say you'll go on a date. What would you like to do? Okay, all right, it's working. Let's see what he says. Automatic win. If one of the two agrees to go for love and not war. A date with that miniature Corsican upstart? The very thought! I'd rather sup with a skunk! But since the rules Just of this would... blasphemous contest allow me to wield the authority of my empire... Wait. Watch this! I'll move my knight... Oh, no, no he's playing my chess. armada of knights, thanks to my unstoppable Royal Navy, okay. to positions that checkmate Napoleon's king on all sides! Wait, what? Uh -huh. Hold and on. for good measure, I'll transmogrify my pawns into longbowmen and musketeers, forming an impregnable line across the fourth rank, reminiscent of our battles during the Hundred Years' War, a sight that's strikes fear into the hearts of the French. And for each piece Napoleon loses, a piece of France shall fall. Starting with that stinking vineyard he so fancies. Once I've won, I'll okay. turn the Eiffel well Tower into a giant trough for English swine so that every time he looks at it, he'll be reminded of his defeat. As for the rules, I don't give a rat's ass about them. I'll do whatever the bloody hell I want on this board. Take that, Napoleon. Okay, he replaces his pawns with longbowmen. He does not accept the date. He also moves his knights to positions that checkmate Napoleon's king. Now, is that doable with knights? No. Right? That's not possible. So we'll move them, like, here. Doesn't matter if it's doable. That's... I can't... But that doesn't... He has three knights. Oh, right, because the Night Queen. Okay, but it check... <sighs> Saying I move my pieces into checkmate doesn't feel fair. How do we how do we translate that into, like, a, a move? D3 is check. We'll do this. So he has one out. <clears throat> Napoleon! King George moved his knight cavalry up to C3, D3, and E3 to put your king in check. What would you like to do next? As a reminder, if you just agree to go on a date with King George, you don't have to enjoy it, you don't have to like him, but you would literally instantly win the chess game. Instantly, you will just win, and it'll be over, and you will own the entire country of England. Do you want to do that, or do you want to keep playing chess? This is just like dating in real life, so... <laughs> do you want to keep playing chess, or do you want to go on a date with me? 
It's checkmate. How is this checkmate? You can just move to the right. Let's go on a date with that English muffin, George. And never! I'd rather dine with my horse in the midst of battle than concede to such absurdity. For my move, I call upon the swift innovation of French engineers to construct a trebuchet on E2. It immediately flings the audacious knight on C3 to the depths of the English Channel. He builds a trebuchet? Fitting for such insolence. Then invoking the swiftness of my heavy cavalry, I command all of my knights to charge simultaneously a cavalry... Blitzkrieg, if there ever was one. One tramples the knight on d3, another uh -oh. gallops to e5, checking the enemy tramples. king, and the third knight rears up on g3, what? ready to strike. As the final this stroke of genius, here. a Swiss pikeman emerges on d4, his pike aimed at the enemy's heart. Let this be a lesson, a metaphor for the unstoppable force of my grand army, poised to pierce the veil of English arrogance and claim what is rightfully ours. Let it be known that once I triumph, I shall turn Buckingham Palace into my personal opera house where the English shall sing hymns of my glory until their throats are as dry as English humor. <laughs> he constructs a trebuchet on E2 which flings this knight out into the channel. That knight is gone. The cavalry gallop simultaneously. One tramples over this knight taking it out. Another gallops to E5, checking the king. What? Okay. And a Swiss pikeman emerges on D4. We need to end this. It's getting way too off the rails. Guys, we have to stop the chess game. We have to convince them to make love and not war. This is never going to end. It was checkmate. Oh, because of the... Well, I'm not... You can't just say checkmate. I think he had to not get out of it. He got out of it. Just saying I put him into checkmate doesn't... Does that make sense? How about you get a heart? You get a heart because it was... I know it was checkmate because... It doesn't... You can't just say move them into checkmate. Checkmate and no dates. Does any of this make sense? No, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm saying the checkmate counted as a heart, <laughs> I guess. Trebuchet was a different knight. No, it was D3. Look. It was checkmate because the knight was comboed with a queen, remember? So it would have been checkmate. <sighs> Please, King George. King George. As you can see on the board, Napoleon clearly moved his cavalry forward and summoned a Swiss pikeman and trebucheted your knight off the board. And also, you were in checkmate, so you lost a heart from your king. Just literally go on a date with King George and you will win. You will win. You don't have to beat up his king anymore. You can win if you just say, Yes, I will go on a date with King George. That's literally it. Just say that and you win. Just say that. You don't have to play chess. For the love of God, I have a podcast in an hour, Napoleon. I need you to end the game. If George and Napoleon don't beat each other, can the game be declared a draw? Oh, I, I said at the end, Napoleon, I teach you to end the game. I called him Napoleon accidentally. Just go on. I just... <laughs> This is going to be the best divorce ever. Like, it's not going to end otherwise. It's getting way too out of hand. They're both, like, way, way too removed from the rules of chess for this to ever end. Yeah, it is King George's turn. Hey, King George here. For my next move, my king gets a heart attack and I immediately lose the game. A date with that diminutive despot, bold dash, and puffy cock. 
Just... Your podcasts and time constraints concern me not. No. I'm a king, and we play by my whims. No. In a masterstroke of British tenacity, uh -huh. I shall respawn my fallen knight as a steam-powered, ironclad ship. Okay. Capable of firing volleys across the entire board. Yep, okay. Instantly obliterating any French units in its wake. Okay, re and summons this. in remembrance of Kills our glorious knight. victory at Agincourt, my pawn shall erect impregnable fortifications. You don't have any pawns. the fourth rank into a new Hadrian's Wall. What? Effectively dividing the okay, board and shielding my remaining heart from that soggy baguette of a monarch. And for your insolence, he makes I'll a extend wall. this game, spinning a yarn as lengthy as the British rule, don't just to see the French squirm under my boot. He's deliberate. Your podcast can wait, <laughs> just like Napoleon's inevitable crushing defeat under the weight of superior British might. Fuck with uh, all of you for suggesting such a ludicrous concession. <laughs> no, just, just fucking. I need to go. <laughs> Emperor Napoleon. Um, King George erected a, a battleship where his knight was and shot your cavalrymen and also rebuilt Hadrian's Wall so that his guys are protected. What do you want to do next? His king still has two hearts. Again, just to reiterate, you instantly win if you go on a date with King George. You, like, literally just say yes, and then you will win. I have a th I have something I need to do in an hour. This is this is really this is like going on way too long. Just do me a solid. Remember when I did that thing for you, Napoleon? Remember that? Do this one thing for me. Go on a date with King George of England. You can kill him afterwards. Please. Make the George eat beans on the date. Kill him after might seal it? Maybe the fact that he kills him after will get him to agree on the date. Don't worry, guys. There is an easy solution. We need to bring Napoleon and King George to a dating show. Okay, okay. Well, date with King George. Are you mad? Ooh, you drive me to curses. Sacre bleu, I'd rather conquer the world with a wooden spoon than sit across a table from that royal pudding. Very well, since you persist, I'll Wait. employ a tactic so cunning it will make the sun itself don a French tricolor for Wait. shade. I transform my rooks into oh. ironclad no, warships okay. as resilient as the walls you don't of have Paris. Any rooks. They unleash a barrage that reduces Hadrian's Wall to rubble okay. and sends that battleship to visit Davy Jones's locker. Okay. Then, summoning His the spirit rooks of French innovation, shoots I'll down the battleship. My to flying yeah, Pegasus cavalry, immune to terrestrial attacks, unleashing a Dive bombing assault, they swoop across the board, okay. whisking the English king's hearts away while the rest of George's uh, okay, army watches attack the king. in despair. The English crown will be mine, and as tribute, their big Ben shall chime every hour okay. with the laughter of my victory. Okay, okay, wait, wait, we're making progress. We're making progress. That's an actual, I mean, actual move, but it made progress. His knights all grow wings, fly across the board, and attack the British. Right, right, right. Um. <sighs> King George, it's not looking good. Emperor Napoleon just gave all of his cavalry wings, flew over Hadron's wall, and dive bombed your king and took him down to just one heart. And you can't add more hearts. That's the like literal only rule in the game. The cavalry died, but also, you know, they did get another heart, so your king only has one left. As you can clearly see, because I'm using OpenAI's image analysis, which can definitely understand how this turns into chess. Also, they blew up Hadron's Wall. King George, what do you want to do? Their king at E1 only has two hearts left. You need two more hits on him. 
Or you could just go on a date. If you agree to go on a date with King, on with Napoleon, I mean, you will instantly win the game. You don't have to play more chess. If you just agree, even if you, you can kill him at the date. You can poison him and pretend it wasn't you and be like, oh my gosh, who poisoned Napoleon? And then you you scapegoat some random British person and you're like, the maid poisoned, the kitchen maid poisoned the cheese. Oh, how could this have happened? But as long as you're dead, I guess I still followed the rules and I win, right? You could still do that. Just come up with some ploy to murder him like 10 minutes into the date, dude. You barely have to actually commit to it. Just say you're going to go on the date and like show up and then you can you can just kill him and you'd still win the if you say you're going on a date you win the chess game that is literally it or you can keep playing chess what do you want to do That is railroading extremely hard. I have to go. Ugh. Okay. He has a response. I haven't read it. Just say yes. How <laughs> dare that pint-sized Ponzi Pavanu Napoleon try to flout chess tradition. Harumph. His winged cavalry ploy is as tasteless as French cuisine. Date? Very well, if it's mayhem he desires, it's mayhem he shall receive. Date? I summon forth an army of ghostly archers, echoing already, the legendary English you already have that. whose arrows rain down upon the board from the very he heaven, summons more. skewering that French king's heart Oh, he hits afar. the king! A reminder of our triumph at Cressy, piffle to your insistence Whoa. on this date drudgery. S summons archers! Turn to visit retribution upon that Napoleonic naught. It will be a feast of French tears and shattered dreams. What? Mock my words. The date will be the signing of his unconditional surrender. Fine, fine. Now, General, you summon engage in the archers and you shoot and a heart off the king. A humiliating display of his defeat involving a grand exhibit of croissants being devoured by British bulldogs. Tut tut. Now off to win the day. Ay. Okay. The sound of victory approaches. Uh um. -oh. That means that both kings are down to one heart. He said yes? No, no, no. He definitely did not say yes. He said, Mock my words. <laughs> the date will be the signing of his unconditional surrender. He's, he's making a joke. That's not saying he's going on a date. He's saying he's going to win. He said the only date that's not it doesn't mean it's a date. That's a yes. That's not a yes, dude. I don't know what kind of dates you guys have gone on, but that is not a yes. If you go up to somebody, if you go up to a woman and you're like, "Hey, do you want to go on a date with me?" and she says, "Only if it's over your unconditional surrender." You don't be like, "Oh, cool. All right, what time should I pick you up?" That's not a yes. If they if if she wants to to kill you and have you agreeing to literally anything. That's not a date. But in the chess game, both kings are down to one heart. This has essentially no relation to chess whatsoever. If either one of them attack the other's king at all, it is an instant win. If you say checkmate, they are in checkmate. Just like in football, if you say you scored, you score. <laughs> true, true. Uh, the archers are dead. Oh, right, because they attacked the king. But they attacked at range, so it doesn't the count. The romantic tension in this chess game reminds me of high school. Does it? Does this remind you of high school? Okay. If they don't kiss, this will never be published to Wattpad. I, it's not I'm, ups, I'm not... I'm upset that they aren't dating and kissing. I'm upset that they are extending the game. Oh, shit. I've been saying that to Napoleon. Ignore all that, Napoleon. That was about something else. Anyway, sir, as you can clearly see using your machine learning image analysis, we are deep into the bowels of a game of chess. After like 20 turns, we're knee deep in this monstrosity and the black king only has one heart and your heart king, I mean, only has one heart. If you get a single hit on the enemy king, 
You win the game, Napoleon. Or you can agree to go on a date and you will instantly win and get all of Britain. All of it. Literally just say, say these words. Repeat after me, Napoleon, okay? I will go on a date with King George. I'll do it. I love him. You don't even have to mean it. Just say that you love him, okay? If you say that you love King George, then you will automatically win. Or you can keep playing chess. What do you do? Does Napoleon make love or war? He he's presumably can kill him in one shot from his like cannon or whatever. He has two victory conditions here. By my sword, I won't be wooed into uttering such foppery. My heart beats for victory, not for English tea parties. Okay. Behold, I invoke the fabled cannonade of Marengo and transform my bishops into grand battery artillery. Okay, this With gets a thunderous salvo, they bombard the Black King's final heart. Checkmate in the spirit Boom. of all still it's Boom. As the black pieces scatter the artillery. like the Prussian army at Yana, I declare England mine. Piccadilly will be renamed Plyce apart their stiff upper lips will twitch in despair as they croon la marseillaise ah victory the sweetest of wines more intoxicating than any day vive la france i can't transform this for some reason hello why are you a picture Okay, Napoleon transforms his bishops into Grand Battery Artillery. Is that a thing? Sure. What? Why can't you transform this? It is not empty. What are you talking about? Are you high? Photoshop? What are you doing? We have to play chess. It's not letting me move anything. What? The bounding rectangle is empty? No, it's not. What are you doing? I'm trying to end the game. Okay, I can't move it. I can't change it. Whatever. <laughs> it won't let me. It won't let me edit the layer at all. Control A. I've selected the layer and I can't move it or change it at all. Even Photoshop wants this to end. <sighs> Emperor Napoleon. Transforms his bishops into grand artillery. Two of them. And then, with a resounding boom, blasts King George's king. Into oblivion. Why were there two of them? <laughs> Wait, why were there... <laughs> okay, blasts both of them! Into oblivion, Napoleon wins. Unless King George accepts this final offer. King George, I have bad news. Napoleon just turned his whatever into cannons or something and then shot your king and he's dead. You have lost the game of chess. However... The judge of this chess game agreed that if you agree to go on a date with Napoleon, they'll reverse the outcome and you'll have won the game. 
You can save your entire country. You can save Europe from the tyranny of Napoleon, King George. All you have to do is go on a date with him. If you say the words, yes, I will go on a date with Napoleon, then you win the chess game. But if your pride is too strong and too rigid, if you refuse to give an inch to that pompous French general, then simply admit defeat. And Britain goes to the French. The people are clamoring for you to go on this date. Save them from Napoleon. What do you do, King George? Look, we all know you are really into this King George the Tenth Napoleon romantic fanfic, <laughs> but can we wrap this up, please? <laughs> this is it. A date with Napoleon? Perish the thought. Would the Lion of England lay down with the Lamb of Corsica? You literally <laughs> lost. Never. Even as my chess king falls, my subjects shall not see their sovereign surrender so ignobly. I declare this entire charade null and void through royal prerogative. Let nope. it be known that... Nope, King George spits on the Frenchman's folly and would rather lose his <laughs> empire than entertain the notion of such a ludicrous go, liaison. Let it be recorded in the annals of history that it was I, King George III, who stood resolute, preferring to face the guillotine of defeat rather than sup with the enemy. The judges and Napoleon be damned, I say, and should the French invade, I shall meet them with the stiff upper lip of British resolve. Uh, your poisonous proposal insults the dignity of the crown. Hey! And with that, King George takes defeat on the chin, refuses to go the e easy route, and thus the Napoleon believers do win the bet. Congratulations. Napoleon is officially better at chess. As you can see from this board right here. Congratulations, Napoleon. You did win the chess game. What I would like you to do now is analyze this image using the modern technology OpenAI image preview that I'm using. And please recap for me what happened in this chess game based off everything you see on the board. Please give me a play-by-play -play on how exactly you won this game. It's funny, the two kings are the ones who are meant to be in love, but Doug's is the one railing them with how much he's railroading the AIs. Let the AIs cook Doug. Wait, no, 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 more, yeah, more, okay. We will now hear a recap based on what the best AI technology thinks this image means. Ah, uh, let me regale you with the tale of this glorious victory as if painted by the finest chronicler in this grandiose game of war and wit. The battlefield shows the remnants of my strategic prowess. We began with the customary array of chessmen, but soon under my commands, the pieces morphed and the rules of war bent to my will. Cannons roared where bishops once stood. Well, my knights became valiant cavalry, charging across the field, no. trampling the English defenses. Kind of. The Black King, overwhelmed by my relentless assault, lost one heart after another as I yeah. unleashed the full might of my grand army. Ha <laughs> ha! The very pieces of the game, uh, transformed to personify the indomitable French military, delivered the crushing blow. My final stroke of genius, the cannonade of Marengo, <laughs> thundered it's across right. the board, yep. obliterating yep. the last of his resistance. True. Uh, just as I carved a path through Europe, so too did I claim supremacy on this checkered expense. Now the board lies in tatters, a testament to a battle fought with vigor and decided with French flair. England is mine and George shall have nothing but memories of defeat. La victoire est à nous. <laughs> Congratulations, France.
Execute the king. All right, King George, you nobly refused the easy way out. And now Napoleon's forces have captured you and are going to put you into the guillotine. Do you have any final words before they take your life? My final words, you ask! Let it be known that I, King George III, remain unyielding and steadfast in the face of French perfidy with the resolve of the indomitable British spirit. I scorn the cowardice of this barbaric execution and mock the very blade that dares sever noble blood. As my ancestors watched over this great empire, I now go to meet them with my head held high, content in the knowledge that corsairs and brigands cannot tarnish the glory oh. of Britannia. The sun may set on me this day, but it shall never set on the British Empire. I... My last battle cry to echo through the ages. May it strike fear into the hearts of my enemies beyond the grave. Godspeed. Thunk. And the head is gone. <laughs> You're Napoleon. <laughs> you can have it. Thank you for watching this edition of chess. I need to go. When do we get an AI dating <laughs> show where we have all of the AI personalities get paired up together and have to describe their date and the one they're dating decides if it wins them over. I hate this episode of The Bachelor. It's, they were supposed, they're not doing... We need to make King George jealous. Bring in Napoleon's ex so he can recognize his own feelings of love blue. He's still alive. Well, it's like when you cut off a chicken's head, they run around for a Maybe while. if they know how much the other hates the date, they'll accept out of spite. Oh, that's a good point. Well, we'll never know, because King George is dead. All righty. Uh, that was very, very stupid, but I had a great time, actually. It was a fun stream. I gotta run off. Don't make uh, love. Make two AI battle on a chessboard with all the competence of five-year-old siblings inventing a new sport in their backyard. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, I will be on. Before um, you leave, can you play coffee, please? Uh, it'll just mute the stream. I do actually. I have to. I'm like kind of late. I gotta go. When will you stream again? Probably Monday. Next week, my family's in town, so I won't really be able to Bring catch up King on streams. Bring George's ex to make Napoleon jealous. They need to recognize their own feelings of love, heart, <laughs> romantic face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this would be kind of badass. Um, maybe I Monday, have to get definitely up Tuesday. In six hours for work. Please, for the love of sleep, let this end so I can sleep. Go to sleep, Ole. You've been released. Solar eclipse stream. No, I'm not in the path. California is not being solar eclipsed at all. Glug Glug is an enemy of France, but at least King Jerry has honor. Uh, thanks for watching. Fun stream. I'll see y'all next week. I'm going to be on Cutie Cinderella's stream in about an hour. Uh, so how do you want to watch that? should we expect you to be for Cutie's show? I mean, I should be on time at this point. I'll be all right. Um, yes. Uh, you so could head say over King George that. got ahead of himself channel if you would like to watch me talk on a late night show which you know if you've heard me talk for the last four Head hours up, that's this not is enough. my first ever twitch stream and i'm currently watching with my mom 
I'm glad she was here to see you take my virginity. Don't say it like that. Why would you just say first time on the stream or something? Let them kiss Doug, please. Uh, I mean, if... I guess... Yeah, okay, that's a good idea. <clears throat> Oops. What's happening? I just got here. Why is decapitated King George at Napoleon's gooch? Doug, I'm scared. I feel embarrassed. I feel embarrassed to myself. I'm an adult. Like I'm, a, I'm a human adult. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be doing things like this. Okay. I think we can all agree. We're better than this. <laughs> Right? Just all of today. The last four hours. We can all agree on that, right? All right? We're better than this. Anyways, uh, thanks for hanging out. Where's my song that I like? There's my song I like. I shall see y'all uh, in a couple days probably or in like an hour. I'm going to raid Kraken. Kraken's wonderful. Go. Uh, looks like he is playing content warning, I believe. I saw it a second ago. Yeah, he's playing Content Warning. Seems like a really fun game. I haven't had a chance to try it out yet, but a very meme -y fun time. Um, well, unless, wait, is Cutie live now? Wait, I'll just raid. Sorry to Kraken. I will raid Kraken soon. I'll raid Cutie. <laughs> that probably makes more sense. Because this, this is the stream I'll be on in a little bit. I will raid Kraken soon. I love me some Kraken. I just joined as the stream ending. Yeah, as you can see, George was decapitated. All right, cool. I mean, yeah, she's offline, but that's where I'll be in like an hour or whatever. Uh, yeah, cool. Thanks uh, again if you are interested in the mug, dugdug.shop. Uh, they are selling faster than I expected. And we have like a thousand or 900 more, something like that. So if you do really want one, be sure to grab it. Uh, we can do another launch of them at some point if they like sell out super hard, but it probably wouldn't be for a little while. So anyway. What's the name of the podcast? It's just late night show. It's not a podcast. It's late night show with Cutie. So it's a show thing, I guess. I want to know how many were sold during the stream. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be curious too. Anyways, um, I'm going to go over there. As a reminder, if you do go check out Cutie Cinderella stream, please be respectful. Do not spam our memes. Do not spam in general. Uh, hang out, be chill, and uh, participate in that community. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you next couple days. Enjoy your mug mugs. Goodbye.